Hello! Hello, my friends! Hello! How are y'all doing? I'm good, as, as you know. I mean... Good? <laughs> yeah, I was asking as a courtesy. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm are you? Though? Oh, you have uh, you have a little um, the, the courtesy Hershey you... sale. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I added closed captions. Look at them I love go. Font. It's just Comic Sans. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, no, I okay. I did that on purpose because that's like one of the most easily read fonts. Like I know, I, like. And I love that it's undercase. Like, it is <laughs> pleasant to read. I was being earnest. Yes. Oh, okay. No, no, no. No, I, I just, I wanted to explain my, my, my process. I was oh, like, I see. if the, uh, if I'm going to have closed captions, I was like, they need to be as accessible as possible, um, to both people who are hard of hearing, um, or who have auditory processing issues and people who are, uh, dyslexic or something like that. So. Yeah. And this way, if you forget to turn on your mic again, we'll know what you're saying. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, the, the CC is pretty good, um, but it's not, you know, courtesy Hershey sale. Um, <laughs> and see, it didn't even get that right. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, hey, look at all the people in your voice chat, Kit. You know what we could do? What? 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 We could rule them like gods. Angry gods. We could rule them like gods. Angry <laughs> gods. Except, except, um, Mac is my co-god because we are the admins of the Vibe Hut. Um, so hey. basically we can just rule Becca like angry gods, me and Mac. Huh. What is a god to an atheist? The line is non-believer who don't believe in anything. I didn't remember it. Excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> the pantheon needs a devil. Is Becca our <laughs> Satan figure? <laughs> Deepest lore. Wow. <laughs> Becca confirmed Satan. Squirtle, come here. Come here. Aww. Oh I my mean, god. I am the youngest. Look at her! Oh, Look at this gracious. troublemaker! <laughs> she has no remorse. Maybe. These little eyes show no remorse. <laughs> you should get her her own little tiny fake laptop. Honestly, I should. Maybe that would solve my issues. <laughs> there she is. Aren't you so cute? No! No! <laughs> Nope. <laughs> uh, what a baby. She's a the baby boss baby. Indeed. She thinks she um, she runs the place. If she does not, in fact. Keeps tracking litter dust up here. It's nasty. Oh. Nasty! Now see, they know we're trying to use them. It's not about the warmth. It's purely to spite us. No! Oh! Fun fact. It's called mirroring. Yeah. Cats! Cool. Cats! Yeah! Um, yeah! Uh, cats... cats love language is uh, quality time. Yes, basically. Aww. It's just that, like, they want to be involved... Like, if, they if your cat is really close to you um, and likes you a lot, they want to be doing whatever you're doing. Um, so that's why, like, if you're working at your computer and your cat wants to spend time with you, like Squirtle does, <laughs> um, you know, they'll, like, sit on your keyboard or whatever. I mean, it's partially Aww. warmth, right? Like, oh, your computer sure. is warm. Um, that explains why my cat slept all the time. <laughs> Did he sleep <laughs> on you? <laughs> Um, Everyone does sit like right yeah, in front of like... my keyboard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like that's where Squirtle will sit for me too. Um, so yeah. it's just they want to be they want to be doing the same thing that you're doing, um, which it, which is why it becomes a nuisance sometimes. But yeah, I'm but so sorry, get... ma'am. 
If I get her a tiny desktop, maybe it won't. <laughs> yeah, like it's been, it's been. I'm pretty sure it's been proven that it does, that it does. Like the like sit at it and be like, hey, we're doing the same thing. Woo yeah, <laughs> woohoo! Like I remember seeing one um, for like a Islamic family. <laughs> oh right, they got them a little all... prayer mat because yeah. they kept interrupting oh. their like daily prayers. Though I I I had seen a similar post, but that one was more like um, someone thought it was really cute that their either their mom or their dad um, wanted the cat to be included in the daily prayers, oh, yeah, <laughs> so they got them a tiny sized prayer mat. <laughs> Less that they were interrupting the daily prayers, more that they just uh, wanted the cat to feel included. I love cats so much too. God, I'm just so imagining good. this little cat sitting on the prayer mat. <laughs> that's so good. So adorable. Oh, I forget. Also, I had read something recently about like how to prevent your cats from uh, chewing on your Christmas tree or like trying to climb it and shit. But now I can't remember. I think it was like to put citrus in it or something like that oh, they don't I've heard like that they don't like the um the acidic smell or whatever yeah they'll probably make that little blinky face when they're like mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like bleeny cat i love bleeny cat bleeny cat yeah that's that that's that like gray and white cat uh, that's like sitting on a chair next to a plate of blinis, like those little uh, uh, pancakes, and it's making mm -hmm. a weird face. It's like, <laughs> yes, exactly, yes, <laughs> exactly that face. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good week, though. Mad and thrifty. Oh, thrifty! I meant to say, good luck with the rest of your work. I hope it gets on quickly. And painlessly. Always glad to see you around. I'm really sad that, uh... I'm really hoping that, like, in 2022, we have a good run where everybody can be involved in the stream every week. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice. <laughs> <Be Yeah. nice. laughs> like I, I do not, I do not fault anybody for having like a personal life outside of this, um, or like having, you know, um, like conflicts and whatnot. But um, I also am just like, I feel so, I feel bad when we do it without like one person. Uh, Rand is going to be coming a little bit late. Um, they, I think they had like a holiday party, right? Yeah, and something I think with their class or school. Yeah. Mm. Are you gonna be waiting for them or? Um, no. We will probably go ahead and get started. I just wanted to um okay. sit and chat for a little bit. So. Yeah, just vibing. Just, just vibing. Pre-show vibing. <laughs> um. So there's a deed. <laughs> there's a breed of cat that has a thumbprint of Allah. Turkish fans. They were apparently on Noah's Ark, and as they left, Allah blessed them by touching their shoulder. Hence the distinctive mark a lot of them have. That's so cute! I know Turk. Wait, is Turkish fan the one that I'm thinking of? It's like, um... It's like... Aren't those the cats that actually, like, love swimming? No. <laughs> They look like, like they love swimming. I think that is. I think that might be. Because I remember it was a it was a breed that was like mostly like white and then uh like ginger sometimes. Yes. Mm. That wow, might these, be it. Wow, I love these cats so much. They are cute. These, the, Dude, the, Turkish the, bands. Their um tails are so fluffy. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Why I started I started typing do Turkish vans like to and uh one of the questions that came up from Google was why do Turkish vans like to swim? Let's find out. There you go. Are often called the swimming cats because they're said to love water. Um Rolling through this.
It's uh, oh okay. It's unknown why they like water, oh, okay. but it's likely that the breed developed what? its love for swimming and its water repellent coat to hunt for the fish that live in Lake Van, which I'm assuming is where they're from. <laughs> <laughs> Still, these claims are speculative. So unless your Turk Turkish van has proven its love for all things liquid, don't try giving it a bath without clipping its claws first. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for subscribing to Cat Facts. Click here every Friday for more Cat Facts. This is all we do now. I'm changing my brand, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye, Legally Bald. The only Legally Bald I care about are Sphinx Siamese. cats. Siamese? No, You're right, it's Sphinx. That's my <laughs> Okay, I do feel bad for Sphinx cats, though. Because they were they were specifically bred from that mutation, but they have to like they cannot survive um, without like humans. Um, yeah. Because uh, they can't regulate their own body temperature like a normal cat can, so you have to like give them little sweaters and keep them in uh, temperature controlled environment. If they get out, you know, it's likely that. Um, I mean, depending on where you live. Um, yeah. To be fair, though, like, at least just from my, from her upbringing, if Branwen got out, like, she's toast. I mean! <laughs> <laughs> like, she could not last in the wild. There's no way. Okay, but I also thought that about our cat, Panda, um, because he got <laughs> yeah. out and was gone for several days. Um, and I was convinced uh, that he had been, like, picked up by a hawk or some other predator or something like that. Um, but he came crawling back to the porch one day. My stepdad found him, um, like, crying <laughs> underneath the porch. And we got him back inside. And he had a total personality shift after that, too. He was, like, um, very, like, lovable. He used Aww. to be the spiciest cat, and then he was very much like, I love you guys. Never let me go outside again. <laughs> he, went on a, like, he went on a hero's journey. Yeah, he, he had a full hero's journey. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> Able sea cat Simon <laughs> served on the Neural Navy's HMS Amethyst. He got a medal for his service. I fucking love. There's nothing I love more than those pictures of, like, uh, ship cats like from like World War II where it's like all the sailors on like the Navy ship and they're all standing around the little hammock for the ship cat and the cat's just sitting there like <laughs> <laughs> what a good thing to have honestly for multiple reasons rats you don't want rats on morale. your ship morale, morale. Uh, those are the two things <laughs> the only two things <laughs> those are the two things <sighs> but they, they weigh a lot they do wasn't there one cat that ended up surviving like two ship sinkings in world war 2 oh my god I feel like I've heard this before hold on navy cat survived two shipwrecks Oh, Mad, you, do you know what I'm talking about? Sam the Unsinkable Cat survived multiple World War II shipwrecks. <laughs> king. Uh, absolute king. I'm clicking on the article. Uh, various Bruce, publications and, e and even a painting tell the story of the cat that was rescued from three different sinking ships during World War II, two of them near Gibraltar. Sam the Unsinkable is the name of one of the most famous cats of the 20th century. Feline that somehow <laughs> appears to have somehow survived at least three shipwrecks during the height of the Second World War and who spent a part of his hectic, hectic life in Gibraltar. Wait, hold on. I'm going to post a, a, a pic of Sam the Unsinkable. Oh, wait, no. This is... This is... Oh, wait, no. He also searched on the HMS Amethyst. According to this tag, his little collar... Hold on. The only, the only, um, the only, uh, wait, no! Oh, <laughs> this claims to be the same cat! <laughs> Man, what? This cat that you're talking about, it's the same! <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> oh my god! Oh. 
Oh. It says it. I'm so confused now. That's a good boy. Is he Sam or Simon? It's uh, like this article says that it, uh, it, his first name was Oscar with a K. Um. <laughs> oh Sam wait, 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 wait. Wait, okay. Legendary reality, those who have written about him agree that Sam, whose first name was Oscar, was a black and white cat that served on a German Kriegsmarine warship, and after being rescued unharmed from the first shipwreck, was then enlisted into the British Royal Navy <laughs> and survived two more, at least two more shipwrecks. <laughs> you can what tell if fuck? you look in the in the animal section of the Discord. That's like before and after the ship. <laughs> <laughs> now he's alert. He's ready. <laughs> that was that was him before. He was like, eh. <laughs> served, enlisted. It do, it does say served and listed. Different cats. They had different funerals. Oh, okay. Now referred to as the Instinkable, the cat was transferred to the aircraft carrier HMS Ark Royal, which coincidentally had participated in the destruction of Bismarck. I, that means nothing to me. I don't know World War II history. And as fate would have it, he experienced yet another shipwreck when his new ship was torpedoed by a German submarine on their return from Malta on November 14th, 1941. The aircraft carrier slowly sank 30 miles from the coast of Gibraltar following de various desperate and fruitless attempts to tow it. However, there was enough time to save the entire crew, including Sam. That's good. Uh, newspapers of the time reported that the, the fortunate cat was found clinging to a wooden board of the boat, oh. angry but unharmed. <laughs> oh. <I love> <laughs> Before... Before finishing his career with the British Navy, the famous feline passed through two other ships, the HMS Legion and the HMS Lightning, both of which sank. The first in 1942 and the other in 1943. But Sam, after a period of chasing rats on dry land within the offices of the British government in Gibraltar, had been transferred to Belfast, nor Northern Ireland, where he spent the rest of the war in a naval officer's home until his death in 1955. Oh, what a good cat. Love him. You know what's so what's so powerful to me is like um uh <laughs> just nuisance. <laughs> what? And the oh. <laughs> dog in the royal navy <laughs> just nuisance. I was about to say oh. like people, you know, like um archaeologists have like uncovered like uh pet graves like dating back to like the fucking roman empire you know like people have made like stone monuments for uh their dogs you know with inscriptions like like he was a very good dog and stuff like that like here lies um uh so and so and i just think that's so sweet like um memorializing like <laughs> That that like three thousand years later, right? <laughs> we we all get to know about you know, I can't remember the name of the dog that I had read about, but um, but that we all get to know about this Roman dude's dog who was a very good boy. Um, <laughs> it brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> um. Anyway, pets are incredible. I love animals. We really are oh, so, so blessed. Good. We are. Like, I was just like, Brainwin, it's the winter time, so she is just all over me, and I soak it in, and like, like anytime I lay down on the couch, she just instantly, like, and it's just, it's not like this usually, it's like, and she'll jump up and just rest right on my chest, and I'm just thinking, like, oh my god, like, this is what heaven is, it's perfect. <laughs> exactly! Cerberus Taman and Villamonset, Dominum Frustruc, Custo Diabat. I cry every time. Matt, do you have a translation? I never took Latin. I am probably butchered that too. Actually, you know what? I didn't butcher it because Latin is a dead language. We don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> fuck everyone. <laughs> I can pronounce it however the fuck I like. 
It's so funny because different Latin teachers will care about it. Like my Latin teacher did not. So he was like, he's like, I literally don't care how you say it. But Alan's did. And so Alan would have to recite his Latin like in perfect pronunciation too. Whereas we were oh, like, no. Agricola. Uh, you know. <laughs> Kerberos, Taman in Villa. Rancid. <laughs> Cerberus, however, remains in the house, guarding his master in vain. A dog no! who stays behind in Pompeii after his master no. died. That's the saddest shit I've ever heard. That's a fucking like. Oh god, what's the what's the fucking the the, the Jap one? Yeah, yeah. What what uh, was the name of it? Wait, wait. Shit. Uh, god, that 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 was the first book I ever cried to. <laughs> Uh, Shannon okay. coming in with some hot takes. Latin being a dead language means that there is a correct pronunciation because it isn't evolving anywhere. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. <laughs> but then we get some Romans on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Hachiko waits. Hachiko, there it was. Okay. I remember it was a ko something. Oh, I was thinking of the, 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 I mean, I guess just multiple things have done this, but the yeah. future rap episode where his <laughs> oh, dog the Futurama episode. It's so I haven't good. seen that one. I don't even watch Futurama and it got me. <laughs> I, I haven't <laughs> even seen this horrible. episode. Apparently I should. Uh, I can't oh, believe how It's could so they? sad. I mean, it basically is that Latin thing of just like, this dog, like, after he goes to the future, his dog just waits for him on, Aww. like, the same place he always waited, and it just shows Aww. him waiting for the... It's so sad, I can't no, yeah, no, no, ah! they, they, they found, they found, like, it, what was it, what was it? It was, like, his, like... I mean, it was kind of like a, like a fossil. Yeah, essentially hit the fossilized remains of his dog. <laughs> uh, and they were like, oh, you know, we can, we can bring him back and stuff uh, because of like technology that they had uh, and eventually uh, the, the main character was just like you know what no uh, he he was like he he lived a good life I'm sure I'm sure that oh he no <laughs> he was like he was like oh you know he, he wasn't even technically my dog he was just oh, this dog that that like came around to the place I worked at and like you know like he fed him and stuff and he was like you know no I, I'll just like we can let him rest and stuff I'm sure he had a great life. And then the episode ends with a time lapse of just of this dog just waiting at this store <laughs> for um, him. Where, uh, where, where, where the main character had, oh. had worked at until he died. <laughs> Fuck Futurama. It's, so, it's like unnecessary. Like, it, future trauma. Like, it Literally. gave me, it traumatized me as a Foxy kid. Foxy trauma. So <laughs> Foxy <laughs> trauma is what the CC said. <laughs> Foxy trauma. Foxy trauma. Foxy uh, trauma. <laughs> God, it was just, it was, it was, it was traumatizing. <laughs> oh, there's a thought. I believe that Egyptians named cats after the sound they said. <laughs> cats just turned up in the ancient Egyptians. Were like, yo, what the fuck are you, cat? <laughs> meow. Cat Egyptians <laughs> mouth seems legit. Okay, you can stay. Listen, Aww. the Egyptians are the ones who uh, they didn't actually like domesticate cats. Cats kind of like self domesticated. Yeah. Um, but um, so cats, their wild ancestors were uh like these desert sand cats. I think there's like their cousins, their wild cousins, still exist in the wild in yeah. that region. Um, mm -hmm. but um. So they they were you know smallish uh, uh, felines um, about the size of cats. They were a little bit bigger, um, but when the Egyptians, you know, one of the, uh, like a huge civilization with a lot of like agriculture and farming and stuff, you know, you store a bunch of grains, you attract a lot of rodents. Um, so. Uh, the these desert cats um had like a really high i think it's called flight distance it's basically like kind of a measure of how skittish an animal is um and uh so they were they were like really wary of humans um but also the humans were all around the places where there was lots of food for these cats like rodents and rats and stuff like that um 
But like over time, it, it, it was kind of like a self-selecting thing. Like I said, they evolved. Um, so like the offspring that had a shorter flight distance that weren't as skittish around humans um, were able to get in closer to the Egyptians um, like settlements in, in civilization in order to get at the rodent populations there. Um, and uh, they were able to like thrive, obviously, because they had enormous uh, like amounts of food available and stuff like that. Um, so they kind of just like self <laughs> self selectively like adapted um, to mm -hmm. living side by side with humans, and the humans were also like, "Hey, this is great!" You know, like now the rodents aren't eating all of our grain, um, and we have less of a rodent problem if we encourage these these cats to live side by side with us. So the Egyptians then um, encouraged that as well. And then I, I don't know how like the whole Egyptians um, like religion works with um, uh, like cats and stuff like that, but I know that's basically like how the domesticated cat <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, or the house cat came into existence was just Mutually beneficial arrangements. <laughs> you, you, I, you let me live alongside you. I take care of your rodent problem and keep your your food stores from uh, getting destroyed by rats. So, um, I think that's also why cats are a little wilder than dogs in terms of pets. Like dogs, we specifically domesticated, I believe, is the theory. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, but, uh, cats, we, we did not necessarily have a, have a hand in. They just came to us with, uh, a, a, a very nice business proposition. <laughs> they were like, that tick shop dude, yeah, that I give yeah. you <laughs> no more rodents. You give me Love chin scritches. <laughs> In ancient times, cats were worshipped as gods. They have not forgotten this exactly. They've not forgotten their their preferential treatment. I would argue they're still treated like gods. Listen, they, yeah. every like Gal Gal what Jackson Galaxy? Sorry, I forgot his fucking name for a second. <laughs> you know, premier uh, cat behavioralist. Uh, I I don't know how much of his stuff is based in fact, but you know, like all the cat keeping advice that I've had is basically like arrange your entire home and life around the fact that you own a cat, um, <laughs> which is very like borderline worship. <laughs> Where <laughs> I I'd never see advice like that around dogs. <laughs> like uh, a lot of Hawaiian animals are named like that. Dolphins are named after the sound they make. Well, now I wonder what the the Hawaiian word for dolphin is. Look it up. Look it. Dolphin up. in Hawaiian. Oh, I might, I might butcher this. Naia. This says Naia, which I can kind of see. Right, Naia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they make that like high pitched like. <laughs> dolphins are so. I. I used to love dolphins. Now I'm terrified of them. Honestly, After I learned how many asshole. people they assault, I'm like, okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> You guys are just mean ocean deer. What the fuck? Back just munching on pizza. Oh my god, Mac, what kind of pizza you got though? Um If I ever get a cat again, I'm for sure arranging the whole house around them. My fur baby deserves nice things. Yes, exactly. Listen, we used to worship cats and we still worship cats and for good reason. They are little babies. I remember that post that was like, um, I, I like dog people have uh, a lot of trouble um, determining like uh, how old a cat is in cat years. So let me explain this to you. From yeah. from uh, from zero to one, uh, cats are a little baby. Little baby. Um, <laughs> from two to four, cats are a little baby. Um, from uh, four to ten, 
cats are a little baby, baby. and from 10 and up, they are a little old lady, or a little little old guy. Yeah, a little old baby. No, one of those needs to be Gremlin Hellbent on Destruction. Oh, that's sorry, that's, kitten. that's, uh, yeah, that's zero to six. Uh, six months. Um, <laughs> God. Kittens are wild. Dolphins do have a human capacity for cruelty. It's true. The, like, the, those people who are like, dolphins have, like, human level intelligence. Yeah, they also have the human capacity for cruelty. <laughs> are Brandon dolphins the one... Oh, wait, go ahead. I was going to ask, is are dolphins the ones whose um brain ha like half of their brain is constantly on whenever they're asleep versus awake and that's why they can't like scientists can't like operate on um a live dolphin or something? Like they what? can't they can't use anest anesthesia on a live dolphin or anything. I've never heard of that. Or something. All I know about dolphins is that they have uh, non-human person status in India. <laughs> <laughs> they have, like, a legal status. They're considered non-human persons. They created a legal class for them. This is why my grant to try and give dolphins opposable thumbs got rejected. Honestly, could you imagine? Could you imagine if dolphins came back onto the land? Listen. <laughs> also, their ancestor is dumb as hell. I like I oh I I don't know. I <clears throat> I say dumb as hell, but also so the evolutionary progress for dolphins and whales, who are all in like the same like family or whatever. Um is so right, everything used to be in the primordial soup. Um and then bigger and more complex creatures grew in the primordial soup and then some of them started evolving land adaptations and moved on to land. Um, well, uh, dolphins and whales, their ancestors, uh, formed land adaptations and then were like, you know what? Fuck land. We're going back in the soup. Um, and readapted to water, which is why, <laughs> why they are mammals, but they, like, basically couldn't live on the land anymore. They are in the same like I don't know what classification is but they are considered like uh, part of they, they are like evolutionary cousins with deer. <laughs> Very Sigma behavior. <laughs> is it though? Is it though? <laughs> <laughs> Dolphins and whales were like, oh, we're not like other mammals. We're cooler than that. We're gonna do our own thing. <laughs> Can't be the king of land? Cool. I won't be on land then. Peace. <laughs> Damn. Who Who is the animal that we think is the king of land? I mean, I guess it would be humans, right? We have like... I... Well, I don't know. Human ingenuity is the thing, right? We've built infrastructure that makes us more powerful than, um, like, we've built tools and infrastructure and we have the numbers that we are, I think, the most powerful animal on the planet. Um, I, I heard somebody the other, the other day refer to us as having removed ourselves from the food chain. I was kind of like, I mean, I guess... Um, but I don't know, like, if it were just, like, me in the woods with, like, I don't know, a wolf pack or a bear, I mean, I probably, like, me alone, like, I don't have any other humans around with me and I don't have the things that humans are capable of. We're, st we're still part of the food chain, we're just on top. That's where I'm kind of, like, I don't know, I, I guess... We eat food, though. I mean, yeah. I feel like we look at the food chain through a window. That's true. <laughs> We're like, what are y'all doing out there, huh? Like, I see a, sna uh, a hawk pick up a snake. I'm like, wow, I'm not involved in this transaction whatsoever. <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> but if you go towards it, you will drop a few levels. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, it is very much like we are at the zoo watching the food chain. Um, 
with like you know bears and wolves and and cougars and stuff at the top and then everything else down below and we're just like wow that's fascinating you guys having fun i got mushrooms for the most powerful they ain't animals they ain't plants they're just doing their own thing and they are terrifying true okay that's i'm i'm glad we can agree on this fungi the most powerful cannot be stopped cannot be killed <laughs> what's that tumblr post <laughs> About like, like me shaking, holding a gun and a mushroom. <laughs> like, like. Uh, Tell me the name of God, you fucker. <laughs> like, can, I can't. Can, can you feel? Can you feel your blood? So, yeah, you, can you, you feel can't your can't blood pulsing? I'm not that's, afraid of you. That's the line that I can't stop thinking about. You can't kill me in a way that matters. <laughs> And then what's the what's the line after it? Decay exists as a form of something. Extant life, I think. Yeah. Oh life. yeah, yeah. Because like, it, it was a reply. It was like, OP, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> and then they replied, <laughs> decay exists as an extant form of life. <laughs> like, as if that is. Thank if, you. Yeah. <laughs> you can't kill me in a way that matters. I'm gonna Google search this. Oh, know your meme. Good. We have the whole know your meme page. <laughs> oh, here we go. Me holding a gun to a mushroom. Tell me the name of God, you fungal piece of shit. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> Can you feel your heart burning? Can you feel the struggle within? The fear within me is beyond anything your soul can make. You cannot kill me in a way that matters. <laughs> me cocking the gun, tears streaming down my face. I'm not fucking scared of you! <laughs> and then, as we said, <laughs> decay exists as an excellent form of life. That's a terrifying answer. Have a nice day. <laughs> God. Uh, I love fungi. <laughs> and also the Know Your Meme page has a lovely uh, what's it called cross stitch that someone made of like a wreath of, of, of mushrooms and Aww. in the middle of the wreath it says you cannot kill me in a way that matters and I want that so bad that's I, awesome I really need this Know Your Meme what's the source please Tell me where I can uh, get this cross stitch. Ooh, another cool illustration with a fungus, uh, with like a mushroom with a bunch of eyes all over it that says the same Ooh. thing. I love this. Also, some uh, Wojak memes. <laughs> <laughs> Classically. <laughs> I'm gonna copy. <laughs> Uh, happy image address. You can use mushrooms for star travel. Look at it, you Star Trek Discovery. I mean, also, I guess technically Dune. I don't know if the spice in Dune is actually a fungus, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was like a weird desert fungus. <laughs> when I learned about mushrooms in bio class, I really wanted to switch my major to them because they are really so fucking cool, but it's like not well funded, at least in my state. So no one studies mycology. Mac, imagine how powerful you would be if you <laughs> had studied mycology. You you might I would you kill might God. you yeah you might have killed killed God by now. <laughs> I God I've damn. never met a mycologist, but suddenly I want to know every single mycologist there is. I, it's oh. like, it was wild because I just was like, oh, I bet this is just something I could just transfer to. And then it was like, oh, no. And I'd have to move like, you know, all. I was like, damn, just so that that adds to the mystery to me of like, why right. is nobody studying them? Right? <laughs> because they're afraid. <laughs> they're all a bunch of pussies. Yeah. No balls. <laughs> <laughs> nobody you wants to study a mushroom. Oh, my God. Don't. That's the path to some like Lovecraftian madness. No spoilers, but spice isn't mushrooms. Wait, okay, you can tell me what spice is. Mad, as our resident Dune expert, you can spoil me. I don't care. Um, because it'll be a long time before I get around to reading those books. Um, yeah, go for and it. And I'm definitely probably going to forget what spice is in the meantime. Oh, wait, 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 no, okay. I had this, I had that theory though. I had a, I had a feeling I was like okay everything I, everything on um 
on uh, the planet is like interconnected, right? And like, without the worms, there would be no like spice, and without the spice, there would be no worms. And also, I detest Dune, and I hate that I know so much about it. <laughs> You're burdened. You're burdened by the knowledge. Here, here's the thing. Before I read Dune, I want to read like some Discworld and like Tales from Earthsea. Um, I feel like I would, I would much rather read those before Dune. <laughs> uh, I, I really, actually, Tales of Tales from Earthsea is probably at the top of that list because, um. This past year, at some point, I'd watched... There was, like, a Studio Ghibli animated um, movie um, called Tales from Our Sea. I was really intrigued. It, it was, like, really good. Um, uh, and I was like, well, damn, now I need to er, read more. Um, so that's definitely up on my list. And then also... Um, I, I'll, I'll be completely honest, uh, Sean from YouTube made uh, a video about Terry Pratchett's Discworld series. <laughs> well, he made a video about Terry Pratchett um, after people, after the TERFs were trying to co-opt Terry Pratchett for uh, their cause. And Terry Pratchett's that. daughter, yeah, was like, um, no, fuck you. Have you ever read my dad's books? <laughs> like, yeah. And then Sean was going through the books to talk about, like, how, you know, Terry Pratchett has a, has a pretty um, open and accepting view of, um, of the transgender. Um, so, uh, and how the TERFs were definitely very wrong uh, to try and co-opt him. Um, but yeah, so then that was like, I was like, well, okay, now I gotta read Discworld to make the TERFs mad. Um, not even to make the TERFs mad, just because it sounds good, honestly. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, but also, uh, I hear that getting into Discworld is, like, a complicated thing. Um, like, everybody has their own recommendations about, like, where to start and stuff. <laughs> so, I managed to get into an Australian tribute video to Terry Pratchett. What? Like, you were involved in the video? That's pretty fucking cool. Oh my god, we've been sitting here talking for an hour. Let me... <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the playlist stopped playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell us about this mad. We are going to start, though. <laughs> I did already have the game preloaded. Look at this. Oh, wait. Hold on. It's gonna bother me. Can I make myself a little bit bigger? Uh, uh. There we go. Move that guy there. Beautiful! It was a fan submission style thing. He sent in a pic of you holding a quote of his. I realized after it came out that it was Australian. Still, that's nice! That's very glad. I'm very glad to hear it. Glad you got to be included. All right. February night. Oh, right. We were in the middle of our investigation. You gotta scare it, I guess. Oh, right. Shit. <clears throat> oh, Edgeworth is here. Fuck. Wasn't it Mac Edgeworth? Yeah. I can feel get, it. Get your get voice ready. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is this what go- <laughs> That would say go dot. <laughs> Fuck! <Right. laughs> Is this what Godot was talking about? Help. Yeah. <laughs> the trick locks. Now then, Iris. Please remove these at once. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm afraid I can't. Why did we bust you out of jail then? It, it's not possible for me. What? During the earthquake, when the cavern was in danger of caving in, Iris escaped. I know that there was only one lock when I last came here. What? Girl! What are you doing? <laughs> I'm assuming you want me to do her as well. I uh, Go for it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just because I did last time. Yeah. Uh, so you're saying that you can't undo the new locks? 
Yes. If only I was stronger. <laughs> I'm imagining Edward trying to pry the bars apart with his bare hands. <laughs> he takes his off, tries to break the chain links. <laughs> no, I'm I assuming. Mean, honest... <laughs> I'm assuming going? he's gonna say uh, that he he started having a panic attack when the earthquake came, but Aww. probably. I've always pronounced it Godot, but maybe it is actually Gadot. Like, <laughs> wait, Gadot. I thought Gal Gadot's <laughs> name was Gal Gadot. So did I. Because, so I pronounce it Godot because of the play Waiting for Godot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. I'm fairly certain that's it. Um, because it's it's supposed to be a reference to that. I've never seen that play, so I can't speak to as to why it would be a reference to that, but anyway. Hey, listen, I had to read that for my AP English class. I honestly have no idea why <laughs> his name is Godot. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess for. it's the waiting thing, you know, because I mean, like, maybe the, it the could main be characters are essentially in purgatory, quote unquote, waiting for this Godot, but they're just like having this conversation, you know, like, non nonsensical conversation the entire time. I think one of them gets like in trouble. I can't remember everything about it, but like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me, if I had to do the play with no lines. So, like, who are we waiting for, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Me going off script because I forgot my lines <laughs> as an actor in this play. <laughs> God. Um, it was, uh, I, I think it was my very first year that I was in college. Um, my theater department per put on a performance of that play, but I didn't go see it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, rip me too because I heard it was really good. It was a really good staging. Mm. Um, but I 100% could believe that the writers were just like, uh, you like his name is Godot because he's been waiting all these years, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Extremely surface level. They've never even read the play. They were just like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Godot, he's waiting. Let's go. <laughs> Edgeworth, how are you feeling? You look a little pale in the face. Like you're one to talk with your face all green. Listen. <laughs> Mild Esfes. Go and get some air. I'll watch over the, the sus suspect. You go and good get a grip on yourself. Don't be ridiculous. I'm perfect. <laughs> she did it! That is the first time she's ever whipped First him. time. Poggers. There's no, <laughs> There's no telling what sort of mistakes you could make in your current state. Go and get some rest. That's your only concern now, Miles Esfers. <laughs> Understood. I'll handle the investigation in the garden. You take care of things here. Bye. Edgeworth. <laughs> Hit it when you go, but I love watching you leave. <laughs> He's got so much pride. It was Maya. <laughs> Maya, you're alive! <laughs> From behind the bars. <laughs> like, oh, she's corrected folks on the pronunciation? Oh, wow. I left for a bit, but I'm back to ask a question. Which channel would be best to put that tribute video to Terry Pratchett? YouTube Rex? Oh yeah, 100%. I think that's the best place for it. He's got so much pride that he's probably off crying in a corner of the garden. <laughs> I, I, <didn't> have, <laughs> I don't know if Phoenix meant that as a joke, but I, I'm reading that as sincere. <laughs> pride is simply another trap that hinders us in our lives. I mean, you as are I one to talk. Prideful. <laughs> that said, one must have pride to be effective on the job. It is a double-edged sword, ma'am. At any rate, it seems that this is where we part ways, Phoenix Wright. I I'm going to stay here and see if I can't help solve these bothersome puzzles. I see. Well, thanks for your help. Thanks for standing in as Maya while she's... A wall. <gasps> Rand! Rand! Welcome back! How was your party? It was 
was good. I'm so sorry. I had to turn. I I just realized at at school, my I turned off the volume off on my laptop, but it was good. It was way fancier than I expected. So the food <laughs> oh. was good, and a, and a lot of people I knew came. So we all just like sat outside and congregated all the tables together. So we had fun. Aww, Aww that's nice. I'm glad yeah. you had fun. Well, come on in. We just started because we talked for an hour about cats yeah. and dolphins <laughs> and evolution and fungi and Terry Pratchett um, and Dune. As you do. As you do. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> well, that sounds okay. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Now then, do you mind if I ask you a few things, Iris? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll fuck myself then. No, not at all. <laughs> what? You want to fuck me yourself? Um, yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm taken. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you make a run for it, Iris? I, I'm sorry. I heard the inner temple had been severely shaken by the strong earthquake we had. I... I was so worried. I just had to come and see. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. At least we're clear on that. Rand, Rand I'm gonna uh, boost your volume on my Discord here really oh. quick. Okay, I'm sorry. Am I too low? No, you're fine. Um. Okay, I think that should be good. I'll adjust okay. it as needed. Um, I can't tell you how relieved I was when when I saw the sacred cavern was all right, but but what? Then I saw these chains here. I saw all these extra locks that someone had put on this on the sacred cavern's door, and mm. who in the world would do something like this? Gee, I wonder. Uh, total freak! Trick lock. These trick locks are a sacred treasure of the Kurain tradition. There are hundreds of ways to set them. That's why the only person who can set the lock, uh, can open it. And you aren't the one who set these locks? I don't think it's that simple, Francisco von Karma. Why am I dropping your full name? Don't fucking do that, Phoenix Light. <laughs> you do it to me all the time! <laughs> you it just did it! For it. How? Name, name one way. Because I do it. <laughs> there you go. Wow, solid reasoning. No wonder you're a, you're a prodigy lawyer. When exactly. we were here the first time, there was only one lock. But now, somehow, there's five of them. What does that mean? It means that someone wanted to secure the place even more. And they wanted to secure it before you got here, Iris. Presumably because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. Oh, I will say, after spending all of Thanksgiving week with our, uh... Uh, our Dutch sister, uh, Iris, every time I see Iris. <laughs> Iris, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Iris, no, that's the Dutch pronunciation. <laughs> she was, um, for those who don't know, she was a foreign exchange student that my family hosted when we were in high school. Eleven years ago. Eleven years <laughs> ago, and we're still, like, we're, stu we're super, super close. She's, like, basically part of our family. Oh, she is nice. a part of our family, excuse yeah. you. <laughs> Why well, is it basically <laughs> in all but legality and in name what? and whatnot? Yeah, in, in all but legality and blood, she is part of our family. So um, I've decided that from now on, I'm just going to call her my Dutch sister for uh -oh. um, <laughs> clarification purposes. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, instead of going like the foreign exchange student that we hosted. A decade ago. <laughs> <laughs> She's just our sister who happens to be Dutch. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. 
And she's getting married, we found out! Oh, She just got engaged. While she was over here in the United States, too. Because she brought her... She brought her boyfriend along. And we got to meet him! And he's super cool, too. I love him so much. Yeah, he was great. Excellent. Yeah. He's, like, super chill. Um... They're both so great. I miss them already. <laughs> I need. I told her I was like, listen, for for you guys and for your wedding, I will finally get my passport sorted because <laughs> I still yeah. don't have a passport. But I was like, I will finally drop the, the two hundred bucks to get yeah, a passport. Just make it to the post office. Get that yeah. passport kit. That's true. All I have to do is make it to the post office. Um. But first, I have to unearth my birth certificate. <laughs> Is the thing. Anyway. Oh. Presumably because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. This means that Iris can only open one of these locks. The first one. Yes. That's correct. What? Iris, try to think, please. Isn't there any way around this? You're our hacker, Iris. Come on, do some spiritual well, hacking. Well, like I said, there are hundreds of different ways to set these locks. I suppose if I went through every combination with each one, I could remove them. But... It will take time, won't it? Obviously. Yes, <laughs> I see. <laughs> yes, About I was a day. The... <laughs> <laughs> About a day if I had to guess. <laughs> it's a, I'm, uh, a I'm whole day. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say if there are a hundred ways to set this these combination locks or not combination locks, like <laughs> multiplied by four, because we can't assume that each one was set the exact same way. That's like you have to try four hundred different ways. And we have absolutely no idea what these like unlocking um, uh, methods are. <laughs> That seems like an awful hard brute force. Like, 400. <laughs> yeah, hashtag brute force method. Just do it. Well, that's better than leaving the locks in place. Here's a question. Because there's a person. Here's a question. Why don't they just, like, break the chains? Man, why don't <laughs> they just break the chains? I don't I'm... know. Maybe they don't have bolt cutters. Someone could go get fucking bolt cutters. It's just... The police they... department doesn't have access to the jobs of life. Like... <laughs> yeah! Well, like, it's, it's not on. the police. It's Gumshoe right now. <laughs> I mean, but that... <laughs> they would let Gumshoe have... Connect so I'm sure. I'm sure if Edgeworth. Edgeworth had no. Yeah, no. Here's the thing. I'm sure if Edgeworth, who constantly threatens to drop the salaries of police officers, called the police department or like the police chief and was like, "Get the fucking jaws of life out here," they would absolutely do it. Um, but uh, oh, also that no was not for you guys. It was for Donna. Who? Ah, okay. <laughs> Okay, she's fine. She slipped on the blanket that was on the Chester drawers. <laughs> oh, oh, oh baby! Poor baby. But also before that, she was trying to touch the light bulb that was in the lamp. No, <laughs> baby! Like, oh, no! Oh, you dumb baby! God! No, oh, you dumb for a few baby! Hours and now you've gone rogue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "You know, pay attention to me. Yeah, I Become mean, ungovernable." I <laughs> yeah, she, and because I've been working on papers, I have been paying less attention to her, so she's just been so bratty. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move the, um... Do we think that's a good place for the the closed captioning? I was, like, trying to think... Like, I hate that it's... Yeah. It... Like, I can't set the size of the window. It just, like... Adjusts to... Um, like the words that I'm saying. Is there a way to give it like a low opacity background? Ooh, that might make it a little bit more legible. That might help. Let me see. Let's do that really quick. Because I'm absolutely sure there is. Background color. Background 
Background opacity is at zero right now. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah. Nice. Okay. Nice. Yeah. There we go. We'll we'll make it not too terribly, but Okay. And then down there or like Maybe I could put it right up here and I can move the raccoon. Whoop. Now I'm resizing the emote wall. Oh, but then the raccoon will block some of the But I think I'm already blocking some of the text. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can we can read it, so we'll say it. It's fine. That's true. Well, I guess I could put him on top of the. Um... Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's just I'm not sure. We'll we'll give that a try. We'll see. Okay. Um. Oh, but I was gonna say I think, like. Okay, but this is... Uh, I wish it would just let me set a maximum, like... A maximum size that the box can be. Yeah. But so far I don't know that I can, so... Set this out. Sorry, I know it's going all over the place. <laughs> I think that's and good enough. Karma like that... says that is fine. Accessibility is important. Yeah. <laughs> excuse me while... Uh, excuse our mess. <laughs> Here we go. I don't think yeah, that's I think that's good because it's just like the, the height is just enough that it doesn't touch the font yeah. of, from the game. There we go. Yeah, I had to resize it a little bit. Okay, let's move the raccoon back down in the All right. <laughs> um <laughs> just I just dropped down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um I I feel like and I haven't seen the Phoenix Wright anime to know if this is what they did, but like I feel like it's kind of more of like a magical force field type situation, right? Um, like even if they went and got the jaws of life, like it would be like, <gasps> we can't get through! <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of fair. thing, right? Yeah, like magic. Since they're spiritual locks or whatever. Sure, I'll do whatever I can. She's so goddamn pretty. Got to wait so another pretty. day. Hang in there, Maya. You're going to have to call on your inner strength now. My question is, why didn't? Why isn't she Maya at the like door? <laughs> Yeah! I would expect her to be like, go there and be like, hey, let me surely, out. Surely, uh -huh. surely it would be warmer by the door. <laughs> than in the middle of this underground chamber. <laughs> yeah, I mean, reason. unless, is she like, surely she wouldn't be tied down in any way, right? You I don't know, know. I can't remember. You know what, Iris? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> There's still one thing I don't quite get. Why Maya isn't at the door begging for us to pass hamburgers <laughs> through the bars. Quote unquote. And what might that be, Phoenix Knight? I think it's obvious. Iris, on the night of the murder, where were you? Huh? Please, Iris, don't give me that look. You told us that you were in your room at Hazakura Temple at the time of the incident. But you were seen that same evening at the inner temple. And then, you were spotted at the scene of the crime in Hazakura Temple, too. Being spotted at both Hazakura Temple and the Inner Temple, it's as if you were... Well, Iris, I think it's about time you told us the truth. Oh god, here we go. How many? Here we go. Uh, only three! Oh, only three! I don't, I don't think we've ever had to break... Like five. Every time there's been someone with like five locks, it's like we've broken like two and then they c totally crumble. Uh yeah. <laughs> Except for Iris with um, Edgeworth so far with that one. Yeah. One. But we I didn't break that, totally did has... we? No. That's what no. I mean. Exactly. Yeah. Here she only has three locks with Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. There's something going on here that we don't know about. Oh. 
I don't know that we have... I, I think we're going to have to do more investigating in this section um, before yeah. we Did go we... back and try and break her. Did box. we show her the badge? You're fucking right. <laughs> we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that when we go back. Um, once we've done more investigating and gotten more stuff, <laughs> finally getting to the bottom of this case. Are you? Are you really? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> there are so many more twists and turns in store. I have no clue. <laughs> Narrator voice. He was not getting to the bottom of this case. <laughs> <laughs> I can count on Iris to break those locks, so I should try to gather more clues. From Sister Bikini, Edgeworth, Gumshoe, and Pearls. Yeah, where did Pearls go? I'm assuming maybe back. Um, let's have a really gay scene in this private garden with Edgeworth, huh? A woo? A woo? Right here. <laughs> the cops are still coming the place. They look pretty nervous. I'd be yeah, nervous, Yeah, look at too. all these cops. All, it's got to be a them. tough job, yeah. yeah. Imagine all the cops. Just absolutely flooding the place. Uh-huh. Especially with someone giving you the evil eye the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> How could I have done that? Wow. I can't believe it's still bothering him. I can. Ed yeah, me too. Edgeworth? Ah! <laughs> 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 hey, don't you dare run away! <laughs> what do you want, right? What do I want? You, baby. <laughs> if you can't hear laugh at me, then get on with it. Go on, laugh away! Bitch, we've known each other for so long. <gasps> I was ready to hug it out with him, but he's just the same frightful entrance! Oh, Holy shit! Give him a hug! Oh, give him a hug! Oh, give him give him Let a them hug! Let, Let them hug! hug. Let, them Let, hug. Them Let them hug! You went back to the criminal affairs department, right? You said you wanted to look into something concerning Iris. It, yes. And thanks to what I found, I was reminded of something terrible. Well, let's talk about it. The, t the time that you were dating somebody in college. Uh. <laughs> Listen, you were still cutting off contact <laughs> with me at that point, so... <laughs> Joke's on you. You guys are putting a lot of effort into the investigation of the garden here, huh? There's a high chance this is the actual scene of the crime. That's why. Fair enough. You mean because of the writing in blood? And the talisman no. in the snow? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> As you know, those things couldn't have been planted here after the murder. But surely you don't suspect Maya, do you? We have to treat everyone as a suspect. Maya, as well as Iris. It's our job, right? Bitch, do you know how many times you've treated Maya as a suspect? You know her. Oh my god. So... I guess you still haven't gotten over your fear of earthquakes. Why, Phoenix, obviously, <laughs> obviously, yeah. why are we bringing this up? Hey, babe, yes, Fett, still haven't gotten over your fear of earthquakes. <laughs> hey, baby, so you still got that childhood trauma. <laughs> <laughs> no, though, thankfully, my nightmares have stopped. Aww. But still, if the ground gives even the slightest tremor... I find myself short of breath. Maybe you shouldn't live in Japan at 40. We regularly get earthquakes in both California and Japan. Yeah. So Japan That's 40 true. This is fair. To Edgeworth's credit, he was abroad. He only came here because Phoenix uh, was in the hospital. So mm -hmm. it just happened to coincide with an yet another earthquake. <laughs> 17 years ago, when we were little school kids at the same elementary school. Just in case the, the player doesn't know what happened. <laughs> Just in case you, for whatever reason, picked up this, the third game in the series, without... <laughs> uh, we have to explain playing. everything. Let's hold your hand and walk you through. Edgeworth I mean, found... Like... 
admittedly, the third game came out many years after the first game, and they're probably working on the mm. assumption that whenever this this game released, it's you, it's been, it's been a while since you played the first game. But like, yeah, come man. on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many I, times do we have to go through this? Like, but I feel like both games we've gone over the fact that uh, Edgeworth was involved in this murder. So, <laughs> Edgeworth found himself in the middle of a murder. Are they gonna show us the CG? Oh, I'm trying to. It all started with that big quake that hit the courthouse. Yep, there it is! <laughs> Once more! Yes, I was stuck in the elevator with my father, who was a defense attorney. We were deprived of oxygen and we passed out. That's when it happened. That single gunshot shattered my whole life. I lost everything that day, all because of that earthquake. My dreams, my family, and myself. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> it's been more than. Get over it! <laughs> no! It's been more than 17 years now. <laughs> and just in case you forgot. Oh my god, this is my least favorite thing in fiction, is when characters are talking to each other about things that they clearly know and remember. That's kind of why I feel like I would really like the Dune books, is because the characters do not do this expository shit. Um, they just talk about, like, historical events, um, like the, uh, what, the... I think it's the robots. Georgian Jihad or something like that, where, like, humans basically had to, uh, r like, destroy AI that, like, the singularity happened. <laughs> yeah, basically um, they had to destroy it, and they were like, okay! Yeah, but, no like, the characters, the characters will reference that event in the book without ever stopping to say, like, oh, you know, that time humanity faced an existential threat because AI became too powerful, and we had to reform our, com our society without computers in order to uh, stop the AI. Um, from destroying humans, um, you know they they just spice. mention it by name and they continue moving on. Or like spice, you know they'll they'll talk about like how important spice is to their, uh, or they'll talk about spice as if it has importance, but they won't explicitly say what that importance is because all the characters already know what spice is used for and why it is so vital to their society. Um, this is my least favorite thing, and that case was finally resolved two years ago, right? You were there. I was there. <laughs> I was there, but it was such a shock. I never imagined I could be so wrong about myself and my life. Listen, Edgeworth, we're in front of a live studio audience, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wright. There's nothing else I can say. Not after you chose to become a lawyer for my sake. And not after you saved me. Imagine this being your first introduction to these two. You would be like, wow, what the fuck? Are they married? <laughs> <laughs> like, if this was a first Phoenix Wright game that you played, like, Edgeworth rushes over from abroad, charters a private jet because he heard that Wright was in the hospital possibly about to die. And then they have this conversation. <laughs> Well, he, Phoenix literally in his brain is like, well, I wanted to give you a hug. Exactly. Like, yeah. Hello. Uh, Hi. I want to hug you. I didn't, I didn't come to laugh. I came to hug, bruh. Edgeworth, you're stronger than you think, so no more of this self pity, okay? Don't anyway, let's talk that. about my ex. There was something that bothered me about her from the moment we met. That we dated? Yes. I felt like I'd seen her somewhere before. No, wait. Yeah, on my arm. <gasps> Not somewhere. I felt like I'd seen her in court before. Oh? So you went back to cr the criminal affairs department to look for her file? Yes. I checked over every case file I've ever worked on. Wow. And it's a lot, okay? Very successful. <laughs> and I was right. I had seen her face before. 
six years ago. Six years ago? It was my first appearance in court. And as cases go, it was my worst nightmare. So, who is she? I'm sorry, right? Two bros chilling in the hot tub, five feet apart because they're not gay. Rhea! Hello, my lovely Oh. Hello, my lovely Rhea. How are oh. you? Hello. Welcome. Thank you for the t tier two sub for 10 months. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Rhea, how have you been? I'm so glad to have you here. How are things going? I don't know why the... Um, the alert box is really messed up right now and I, honestly i can't figure out how to fix it but honestly it's okay because i'm planning on um switching over the alerts to stream elements anyway so <laughs> rip stream labs two bros <gasps> chilling in the hot tub five, five feet, feet apart because they're not gay. gay i forgot to share earlier smile I forgot to share earlier smile. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Mac. Also for the tier two stub. 15 months. 15 months. Our Twitch baby. Wait, our Twitch baby is six months old. <gasps> Can you believe this? That's wow. amazing. Our trench Beautiful. baby. <laughs> Very powerful. I'm good getting over a cold and hoping it wasn't COVID, but chilling otherwise, I also hope it wasn't COVID. Yeah, Me same, too. Maria. But I'm sorry you haven't been feeling well. Um, Wraps you up in a blanket, hands you a hot cup of hot cocoa, come sit by the fire with us. Um, all right, I was Very gonna beautiful. Do. Very powerful. Yeah. <laughs> in honor of Ren, rip. <laughs> rip to a real one. <laughs> Gone but not forgotten. Yeah. Oh my god, Edgeworth. Wait, did you say what this line? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. What? Why not? It might be the crucial piece of the puzzle that solves this case. The woman I knew was the daughter of a jewelry store owner. She had nothing to do with Iris and the Hazakuta Temple. Says you. And neither did the case. No, that woman is completely unrelated to this murder. Famous sure. fucking last words. Just looks very, very similar. <laughs> Your mic cut off. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unrelated. Yes. I can say that with complete confidence. Can you? I bet my life on it. Don't do that, bitch. Okay? Listen, let's not be rash. Oh, my You're car. wrong, Edgeworth! <laughs> She's totally related to this case. Need to fill Edgeworth in. You have to explain the connection between Iris and the woman Edgeworth knew. Okay, so I need to show something to him. Maybe nope, the, not that. Um, Never mind. I think you need to talk to more people before you can before show. Before we do that? Yeah, because Probably. actually... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we have anything that, like... I don't think we even have a profile. Yeah, probably we have to talk to Bikini more about um, Iris. Iris. Oh, not not the training hall. Sorry. Hi, bitch. Bye, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the bridge. It's weird that there's no one around here. All of a sudden, I said out loud to myself alone. It sure gets quiet up here in the mountains when you're all on your own and you start to talk to yourself. Speaking of alone, I guess I should go check out the shack down just down this path. Maybe I'll find Larry there sulking again. Is Why would I want- just like with Iris right now? I forget. What is she doing? <laughs> oh, wait. Pearls? Oh, yeah. Oh, her... Ran her no. away from us. No, I, I think we're about to see Pearls. Yeah. Larry is no longer relevant, so we're going to talk to Pearls. <laughs> Wait, um, who the I, fuck? I played her before, but anybody can. Go ahead. <laughs> Do uh, it. Wait, oh, Put fuck. your baby voice on. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Put your baby voice. <laughs> Mr. Nick, bitch. Oh, 
Mr. Nick, bitch. <laughs> no, 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 no. I hate it. I hate it. Wow, I hate it. Pearls, what are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> Why is your voice going through so many voice. changes? <laughs> Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how old is she? She's like nine right now, nine. right? Nine. You could start going through uh, puberty at nine. You can. You could have a really early puberty. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> puberty. Puberty. <laughs> um, hold on. Uh. You're gonna find it. I, I believe in you, oh, Becca. Yes. Uh. Actually, wait, do we want to take uh, a quick break? Because we haven't had one since we started and we've been going sure. an hour and a half. Sure. You can, it's like a formulate a voice. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can, you can work on your voice in private. In the meantime, we can, um, we can vibe on break. So, um, everybody have a raffle. Oh, the fucking Limmy emotes. Let's go. My uh, someone had gifted me a sub to Lemmy, and then it expired, and I was very sad. For a brief amount of time, I had the Lemmy emotes. It was very good. Yeah, I gave him my prime. <laughs> I don't have a prime to give. I do have a prime, but I always forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta use those prime subs, man. Anyway, let's take a quick break. Uh, <laughs> me and Mac. <laughs> The house always wins, baby. Um, <laughs> all right, we will we will be right back.
Are we all back? Hello. Yee. 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 I have, uh... I found a, an ADHD uh, horror experience. Uh-oh. Well? Please share. You want me to share on stream now? Will anybody be terribly upset if I share a horror thing? That's okay. I'm, the I I just checked my email and I'm responding to a student hasn't gotten their feedback yet on their final like project, but I already put in the grade book they got a 15 out of 20. Ooh. And they emailed me like, hey, why didn't I get that? And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> You want me to explain why? <laughs> <laughs> Work done! Congrats, Shannon. Pog. Yes. Epic play. The hashtag ADHD urge to not look into mirrors at night because the thing in the mirror will fuck up its disguise and you'll see and it'll see that you saw and then... <gasps> And I felt that. I really felt that. Uh. <laughs> Listen, uh, except I I very recently had a heart-to-heart -heart with the thing in the mirror. And I was like, Listen, we're buds. We're pals, <laughs> right? We share the same visage. Um, we're just gonna be chill with each other, okay? And the thing in the mirror agreed, so. I'm Aww. clear. I don't know about all you other ADHDers, but... Mm. Um, <laughs> I, I've, 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 uh, I've come to a truce. But they also went on to th say, Hey, did you all know that intrusive thoughts like this are common in disorders like ADHD, OCD, anxiety, depression, bipolar? Turns out you're not afraid of the dark. You are in fact suffering from a system in your brain building signal from static and telling you to be on guard. Oh, God. We're also far more likely to lucid dream to learn how to lucid dream on our own and for our dreams to level up once we start lucid dreaming and get existentially horrifying. Like characters begging you not to wake up since they don't want to die. <laughs> oh my god, holy shit. I've never, I've never had a dream like that, but I can no. definitely see how I could have a dream like that. Um, I cannot lucid dream. I, I feel like I'm the opposite. Like I go along. I'm like, oh, I have three arms? That's, that's always been the case. <laughs> I don't know that I lucid dream. Like, I, I don't I don't think I've ever gotten to a state where I can control a dream, right? In the way that some people describe it. Um, but I definitely feel like I recognize when I'm in a dream, but it still feels as real. I'm like, oh, right, this is dream me in a very real situation that I definitely have to respond to as a real person. Mm-hmm. I literally stopped, just got distracted and stopped listening to the story and missed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's that you don't, you don't want to look in the mirror at night because the thing in the mirror will fuck up its, its disguise at night. Uh, and you'll see the thing in the mirror and then it, the thing in the mirror will see that you saw and then, and then it trails off. <laughs> oh, you can control, oh, you can lose your dream? Well, I'm glad you haven't had an existentially terrifying lucid dream like that. I hope this doesn't start a, a terrible trend. Um, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad, though. Anyway. I'm retweeting that. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not afraid of my real life reflection. We both ugly. No, see, that's the thing. That's why I was able to come to a truce with my reflection, because I was like, listen, we both cute. We know what's up. We're on, we're on the uptake. We're good, and that's why we gotta work together. Um, anyway. <laughs> Back to pearls. Yeah, um... Nothing. What about Mythic Maya? Is she alright? Mythic Maya? <laughs> Mythic Maya? <laughs> Mythic Maya? Hold on, I'm resizing my window. It was slightly too large, and it was bothering me. Okay, I think that's perfect. I do avoid the mirror at dark uh, because I'm afraid I'm going to see someone behind me. Me too. I'm still afraid of opening the shower curtain sometimes. I only close yeah. the shower curtain when there's company over and I don't want them to see my nasty shower. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, that's a mood. It's even more nasty right now because I've been having to do like stupid ceiling work. Mm -hmm. And I haven't had a chance to clean it. <laughs> um, well, we don't know yet. 
Oh, I see. Oh my god, get out of here. Oh god. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing here, Nick? I'm checking on my young ward! Larry! This is the loser shack, <laughs> where losers get together to lose themselves. Why are you calling this young girl a loser? Yeah, you're this is loser kid. The what? You probably yourself a loser. I mean, you're right. I don't belong here, but neither does Pearls. Hey, we find comfort in each other's failures. Okay, you got a problem with that? Look, Mister Nick, Mister Larice did a picture of me. That's uh, great, Pearls. We're going to gather firewood now. <laughs> half rotten potatoes over a miserable little campfire. What the fuck oh, is sorry. happening? <laughs> <laughs> We're going serious. to find firewood now. <laughs> Otherwise, we will not survive the coming winter. <laughs> Stacy looks like the most serious man on the planet. He does. He yeah, does. Truly. He just caught me so off guard. <laughs> 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 this man is erratic. You can't, he can't, he can't he's stay so, in one mood. I, Yeah. Oh, it was so good. I have really <laughs> crazy and vivid dreams. I always had pretty weird dreams, but my OCD meds make them even more whack. Oh my god. Oh wow. I feel like I've never heard of that, but <laughs> I hope they're not terrifyingly whack. Or that they don't happen every single night. That's the other thing. I feel like I don't dream every single night um, anymore. Especially since uh, taking um, antidepressants. I feel like I don't I don't dream nearly as often. So. I don't believe this. Why can't he try getting fired up over <laughs> becoming a better man? <laughs> no one believes a word I say anymore. I, 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 there's a reason for that. <laughs> Anime Pearl, you don't want to trust this kind of guy, okay? He'll only let you down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mystic Maya. Oh, Larry, this nine-year-old is going through a lot right now. You need to shut the fuck up. I think Larry gave Pearl's depression. Uh, yeah, honestly. He was- I feel like he was trying to help her, um, but- <laughs> No. <laughs> if it- as, as always, it completely backfired. Have, hey, y'all, can y'all see my, uh, my growing mullet here? Yeah. Look at this shit. A little bit, yeah. Luscious. Look at this shit. Shave it off. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be the gayest cousin around, so, um, I have to get a full, I have to get a full-blown mullet going. Um, and then once I get my tea, I have to have a shitty little mustache here, too. <laughs> That's the way. I'm gonna go full 80s, uh... 80s punk. Punk boy. Oh, we oh, crack it open to Betsy! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. I was like, maybe it won't make a sound. Here we go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Grip it or rip it, baby. Where the fuck is my <laughs> Betsy? Oh, here we go. I found it. <laughs> Grip it and rip it. Jeez. Fuck yes. There oh it is. Gosh, look at all of them. Look at all those fucking Bebsies. Covering up my face and shit. <sighs> Beautiful. Oh, Thrifty, what's your cold one? I have some Hunch Punch and some Sprite. What's Hunch Punch, you ask? It is moonshine that's fruit punch flavored. <laughs> Is there something you want to tell me about this picture? <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you. My life's here now, with Pearl. Two losers cooking potatoes together forevermore. Pearls doesn't want to sit with you. <laughs> what am I gonna do with him? Alright then, what do you think about this picture, Pearls? I think it's really well drawn. I can't draw at all, so I think it's really amazing. <laughs> See? Someone appreciates it. It's tough getting the flames to look like that, you know? <laughs> I like that the frames are really pretty. Thank you. Whoa. Bless you. Thank you. It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, isn't it? 
A pale ale from Vancouver Island Brewing. Ooh. Ooh. I love it. It's like a dream. A wonderful fantasy. It looks like hell. Uh, no, no, no. It wasn't a dream. It was a nightmare. She really flew. I'm telling you, Iris really flew that night. I do not understand this. I do not remember the resolution to this mystery. Ew. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> Every time, if I rem if I'm remembering correctly, it's the funniest shit. <laughs> anyway, um. but Mister Larice, Mister, <sighs> Mister, <sighs> not you too. Please don't look at me like that, Pearl. <laughs> uh, why why do he and Judy from Animal Crossing share the same eyes in this <laughs> she, I hate that. Well, uh, sister. <laughs> who who sister wore it better? Things. Judy. Judy mm -hmm. did. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of nutcase. I beg of you. Mac, your performance of Larry is everything. I gotta Honestly. say. Every time. <laughs> I, I I dread every time that Larry comes up, but I also look forward to it because we get these wonderful performances from you. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> I guess this picture really is a representation of what Larry thinks he saw. Okay, so I was half asleep when I was here. And upside <laughs> down. But I was right awake after the lightning struck. Did I just hit it? Is it that he was upside down? <laughs> I th well, then that would mean that she was underneath the bridge. Yeah, so she was falling. Oh, I see. Oh, whoa. Holy shit. I, 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 so I, I have played this case before. There are some things that I remember and there are a lot of things that I don't. This is one of the things that I genuinely can't remember. So I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm going to call it right now that he, the picture is upside down. And in true Larry fashion, he just still hasn't told us that he drew it upside down. <sighs> and I saw what I saw. It was exactly like I drew in the picture. Well, actually... Wouldn't that make sense? Well, I I guess the flames are going up. What about the cables? Are the cables on top or bottom? The cables are horizontal to the bridge. I think... I'm pretty sure. I saw the instant the lights turned on in your brain. <laughs> Literally. Literally the light bulb clicked. It was yeah, like the met the, the light bulb. The metal gear solid, like drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It looks like I don't have any choice but to take this sketch at face value. Suggestion hey. turn down the opacity of the text box. Okay. So that you can see more of the picture. Oh, excuse me. Wait, you can change the Wait. opacity of, like, the Ace Attorney text box? Can we? Text box off. Oh! 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 <laughs> okay. Oh, I can also change... Full blast! No, I do, I do not want it full blast. Okay. Wait, so do you want to turn it lower, the opacity? Here we go, so we can see the full the full. Oh, I see, I see, now. I see. Because we can look at that in our court record full view, I think. Yes. Oh, okay, but the flames are going both ways, so this uh -oh. does support my fucking theory. Yeah. This does support my theory that it's upside down, um, and she's actually falling. Or something is falling. Horrible sketch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Shannon. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That was very mm -hmm. helpful. Plus, I've always, I've always uh, thought it's so sad that you, like you can't see half the yeah. character, especially really short characters like Cody Hackens or like Bikini. Oh, yeah. Anyway, the night of the crime. Pearls, where were you? Vagina? Why did I ask? <laughs> I don't even know what it interpreted as vagina! What the fuck? 
<laughs> Closed captions, are you okay? Closed captions even dirtier than my brain. Shit. <laughs> um, pearls. Y yes, Mr. Nick, bitch. I've been meaning Almost to ask you it. about the night of the murder, <laughs> imposter. <laughs> Among <laughs> us? <laughs> yes. Where were you, and what exactly were you doing when it all happened? I, um, I, I was just, well, I'm just a kid, you know. Just a little lady. I'm just, I'm just a, a wee little, little lady. baby. I'm just a wee little baby. I mean, you are, but okay, what were you doing? I, I'm sure it doesn't really matter wh what I was doing, D does it, Mr. Nick, bitch? It extremely matters. <laughs> Sorry, Pearls, but yeah, it does. On the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Ms. Donim's room, reading a book together. But Ms. Donim was murdered, and you, Pearls, were at the Inner Temple. Mm. Wait, what reference did Mac make? <laughs> oh, it was to Little Miss Fortune. Mm-hmm. Oh! Like, I'm, I'm, just little I'm just a little lady. I'm just a little lady. <laughs> Just what exactly happened that night, Pearls? I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick, bitch. Not you, Pearls! How oh, yeah, we got the Ooh. full... The full barricade. Uh, I've been a bad girl. That's why I'm being punished. Pearls, what are you talking about? My spiritual power. It has disappeared. <gasps> what? Her powers have disappeared? What do you mean your power has disappeared, Pearls? It's... It's all over for me. Pearls! A spirit medium who can't channel spirits like... It's like a painter who can't paint. I'm not even a spirit easy anymore! <gasps> hey, what are you looking at me for? Pearls, did you try to channel someone's spirit right here at Kazakura Temple? Tried, but failed, perhaps? Uh. <laughs> Aww. Way to go, Nick. You made her cry. That's... That was really cruel of you. <laughs> Why are you crying? Just as I thought. I'm going to have to break her psyche locks to get the truth out of her. Hey, Pearl, stop crying. Do you remember what I am? A huge buffoon. <laughs> um, Pearls? It's no good. He's in no condition to look at anything for me oh. right now, or even laugh at my self-deprecating jokes! Oh, poor baby. <laughs> Alright, it's okay, Pearls. We'll be back later. <laughs> we'll go get you a candy bar. <laughs> I wonder if Sister Bikini is back at the main hall already. I haven't seen Gumtree around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere. Aww. I bet Gumshoe is this is Sister Bikini's type! Has taste. <laughs> yeah, she does have taste. Gumshoe is everybody's type, let's be real. With taste. Yeah. A real him though, that one. <gasps> oh She's like so uh, is so intense right off the bat. <laughs> well, What's the damage? How is the sacred cavern? It looks like it survived, but we have a bigger problem now. I told Sister Bikini all about it. About the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. Couldn't she help? Like, what is this? <laughs> well, I... Uh, what, what Iris... It would oh, on time. I guess I, I see what you're saying. Like, if she went and helped mm -hmm. Iris brute force it. I Maybe guess. that's what happens. I actually don't remember. I, I don't I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying it would cut down on time. <laughs> yeah. But who... Who could have done that? The only people who know how to set those trick locks are those of the Karain tradition. We have Iris at the Sacred Cavern trying her best to open them for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk with you about, Sister Bikini. Oh, yes. We were in the middle of a chat, weren't we? 
Yes. You were telling me how the Master of Kurain disappeared 17 years ago. I want to know why Misty Faye suddenly reappeared at this temple. It was about a week ago when Mystic Elise, no, I mean Mystic Misty, arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved she was the master, she said, Someone is trying to destroy the Karine tradition's main family line. I am here to put a stop to them. Someone was trying to destroy the main family line? There is only one heir to the master title at any time. It's usually the eldest. The child becomes the new master of Karine, and her daughters, the main family. All other mediums become branch family members, with no hope of controlling the clan. That's why nothing has changed throughout the history of the clan. Branch families always have, and always will, plot to erase those of the main family line. Solution. I have a single daughter. There you go. Also, like, that's so toxic. Uh, right? Like, is, why? Okay. I feel you, like... not. You folks understand why I'm over here and not <laughs> in Kurai Village? Like, I wanted to get away from that shit. Also, this idea that all of them would just immediately be like, yes, I want to be in the family business. Yes, I want to be at the top of the family business. Right? Like, we Mia was her. like, fuck it. I'm going to go be a lawyer. See y'all. Yeah. <laughs> she was supposed Mia. to be the master of Karine by this logic. Um, mm, but, but she was like, no, I'm not no. interested. Yeah. going to be a lawyer. you got to have an heir and a spare. Listen. You do. I mean, that is the thing. The air and the spare. That is a there thing. There's always an air and a spare. That is a thing. You do have a point there, Shannon. Uh, but I, I, f I find fault with this. <laughs> mm -hmm. <gasps> is the power of the master worth this much bloodshed? Why did you immediately assume they were murdering each other? <laughs> well, it's a limit, eh? I mean, true. Oh, right. Hey, did you know I'm an attorney? I was wondering about this. Do you know what this is? Hmm, it just, they just kind of gave it to me at the end of my schooling. I, I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you may know, in order to see reality for what it truly is... Well, didn't Mia give up her mediuming because of her mother's disappearance? I think that's she why she became... Magatama. Yeah, she still had it. I think it's just she became a lawyer because of her mom's disappearance because she was interested in the case that caused her mom to like be publicly disgraced and and disappear so she was like well okay <laughs> now this trauma uh, for me as a as a, a child has uh forced me to um become interested in law so yeah she was like she was very much she wanted to be she wanted to figure it, like, get out, get to the bottom of it. We strive to break our attachments to much of the transient material realm. I guess you could call me an immaterial girl. <laughs> I've already I... said this before. Phoenix! <laughs> I'm not saying that. Oh. Phoenix, I'm done with your fat shaming. Anyway, tell me about the Kurine channeling technique. You believe in the technique, don't you, Mr. Wright? You know its power is real. Yes, I do. It's been two years since I first met Maya, in case you were wondering. In that time, I've seen her channel the spirits of the dead plenty of times. During the, <laughs> during the Mask Star to Mask case? <laughs> during Maggie Bird's trial, too. And before. And before. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Maya, Mia's always on hand to help me out when I need her the most. God, I forgot how huge her tits were! <laughs> Stop it! Mommy milkers! I don't know! How could you possibly- I don't know! <laughs> I was the just like, wow. The crying technique gives you big mommy milkers. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the grind technique has made a huge difference to the world, you know. Bye, Shannon. Have a great weekend and a great Bye. night. Thanks for hanging out. <sighs> I mean, the ability to commune with the dead. That's true psychic power, you know. Members of the tradition have always been there, behind every important leader. Whoa, this is suddenly some conspiracy shit. Yes, we're a shadow cult. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you get it? <laughs> Are these the globalists Alex Jones was always screaming about? <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but... With all that power and influence, I kind of expected you'd be really rich by now. Saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? <laughs> You're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see. All because of one little mistake. Phoenix, we know what the mistake is. <laughs> yep. yep. It was 17 years ago. That's when everything came crashing down. All because of that incident. The deluxe incident. <laughs> <laughs> The deluxe incident. That incident? <laughs> is she talking about what I think she is? Yes, she Phoenix! Good job! I'm sure records still exist if you're interested. Locked up, of course. It was called the deluxe incident. That's the name of the file. The deluxe incident. I knew it! The deluxe incident. I know it well. I handled a related case just two years ago. Ha! Huh. That's right! So it was you who was that defense attorney on the case. A murder that took place 17 years ago. Ooh, nice new CG. Mm hmm. This is you. It was. <laughs> right. <laughs> It was the first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. The idea was to channel the victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. The medium who performed the channeling was channeling was Misty Fay, Maya's mother. Through Mystic Misty's channeling, the name of a certain man surfaced. Armed with that as evidence, the investigators were spurred into action. That man, that, yeah. he was found not guilty, wasn't he? That's right, he was. And the case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. It was the first case the world had ever seen the Karain tradition openly involved in. All over the media, the public, the judiciary, people of Karain village... Everyone judged her. Everyone said Mystic Misty's powers were a sham. And then she just disappeared. Vanished. Well, everyone still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth. Misty Fay's spirit channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. And since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. The Karain tradition is starting to recover at last. But with a new master wielding the power of the clan. Does she mean Maya? I mean, yeah, Maya's the... The heir. <laughs> the spiritual power of the Karain channeling technique is in the blood. Maya's told me the exact same thing before. We, the women of the Fey Clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. According to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. Is... I don't understand. <laughs> that seems like some gender essentialism bullshit. Yep. Eh, I don't know. The main family's bloodline stems directly from Mystic Ami. But with each new generation, only one daughter becomes the new master. 
And the ones who don't become Brant families, right? That's right. And it's always the cause of tragedy. You know, Maya had a sister too. An older sister named Mia. Oh yes, I've heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Who doesn't? Yeah. Of course. Her she mommy milkers are legendary. Uh, I yes. wanted to say that, but I thought I would get, I thought I would get lynched. Uh, I thought I would. I thought I... I took the bullet for you, Becca. <laughs> She became a lawyer in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. Yep, and lost her lost life her as a result. Do you know what Mystic Mia is rumored to have said? She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Oh, Really? Oh, I said that really incredulously. Really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, as she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mom and her aunt. That's right. Misty Fay had an elder sister, too. And My Misty... <laughs> <laughs> Having superior powers managed to usurp the master seat from her. Mystic Misty's sister is Mystic Morgan, as you probably know. Oh, I know. Again, we had a first hand experience. Morgan? There's a name I know well. It was a year ago now at Maya's home, Kurine Village. What she did was terrible. All so she could make her own daughter the next master. I suppose if you know about Mystic Morgan's daughter, you must have already realized that Iris... Um, huh? Iris? What's Iris got to do with any of this? That Iris is Mystic Morgan's daughter. <gasps> dun dun dun! What? Iris is what?! <laughs> is she kidding me?! Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter?! <coughs> Bless you. This, uh, sorry. Bless you. I, uh, bones? I inhaled some water. Oof. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. This is the part that I remember. Or this is part of the part that I remember. Did you just say that Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Oops! I thought you already knew! No, bitch! Thanks for telling me! Okay, sure, bitch! Sure, my good bitch! <laughs> it sounded like you met one of Mystic Morgan's daughters already! Alright, Mac! Oh, okay. I mean, I, I have! I know her very well! She's with us! Oh? Yes, Pearls. Pearl Fay. But I always thought she was an only child. A child? She's Mystic Morgan's? You didn't know? <laughs> no! I had no idea! The truth really come out. <laughs> Mystic Morgan. That bitch. Uh huh. She's in prison now, isn't she? Yes. Ever since she was found to be a co conspirator in a murder case last year. Get that bitch away from Pearls. It was all done to set Pearls up as the next master. Get her fucking away. Get her and her powerful hair away. <laughs> I see. So I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan had three daughters, not two. Three? What? <laughs> I forgot! How much they just dropped on you in this conversation? <laughs> Wait, what? Th three? Yes, Iris, her twin sister, and Mystic Pearl. Whoa! There you fucking go! The what? Is a Tw mess. <laughs> twin sister? Oh, didn't you know? 
It all happened 20 years ago. After the clan leadership was taken from her by her sister, Mystic Morgan's life molds. <laughs> it wasn't many years later that Karine's reputation hit an all-time low. When Mystic Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master, he left her in the village, taking their twin daughters with him. Oh my god! How oh, awful. He was a jeweler, you know. In the end, he remarried, and that's when it happened. Shit. He decided to give one of his girls up to be looked after by us here at the temple. Why, oh, why though? though? Why so, though? As you see, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> why though? That was Iris, you see. Yeah, Mac, are you coming to some revelations life. right now? Yeah. <laughs> Which is what I love about this case, right? The entire time you're like, I, I love the way they write Iris because there, there are moments where she's very genuine in conversation with you and you're like, there's no way she could be Dahlia. Like the Dahlia that we've seen, no, no fucking way. But then at the same time, there are like really suspicious moments too where you're like, I don't, I don't know, but is she? Like, Dahlia was really good at, like, swaying people and uh, especially Phoenix and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. But then they're like, um, no, actually, Iris is one of two twin sisters. And you're like... What? <laughs> <laughs> the puzzle pieces, they're all coming together. <laughs> I've connected the dots. <laughs> I love an evil twin and an angel twin. I feel like I that's can a... be your angle or your or devil. Your devil. <laughs> it's unbelievable. If Iris has a twin sister, could it be? Um, could you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini? What was the name of Iris's sister? Gee, I can't recall. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Right. Would it happen to be Dahlia? <laughs> I just can't remember. All that I can recall is that her father was a jeweler. Honestly, that's more than enough because we already know that Dahlia's uh, family were jewelers. Mm. That's a clue, I guess. A jeweler. Thank you very much. Helped clear up a lot of details. Girls had two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt, it was all because of Mystic Morgan's anger towards the main family. Anger? What do you mean? My good bitch, did you realize? Yeah. <laughs> Haven't you been listening? <laughs> Her entire life was ruined by everything. <laughs> her twin daughters were taken from her by her jeweler husband. But even that couldn't destroy her dream that a child of hers would one day lead the clan. That's why she had pearls? It seems that the incident here was a result of Mystic Morgan's anger. She was able to break free of the bars that confined her. So Iris has a twins. The plot thickens. I mean, yeah. But this information will be un useless unless I can flesh it out a bit. I need to ask more questions and get some more info. From her, or...? Uh, do you want me to check? No, it's fine. Um... Her father deals in jewelry, apparently. Iris had a twin sister. Probably all I know about her. That, and the fact that she was taken away from her mother by her jeweler father. I don't have any idea where she is, or what she's doing now. Her jeweler father. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's better than what else I could say about him. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell her, but she'd probably have a coronary and a half. Uh, yeah, let's not then. Well, actually... I am curious if she has anything else to say about Morgan. When I think about it, 
I do kind of feel sorry for Mystic Morgan. It wasn't her fault that her sister was a more powerful spirit medium. Mystic Morgan just couldn't compete with her sister. Okay, but does that really justify her trying to frame Maya for a murder? It, it does not. And killing a man. But I'm also saying, like, she didn't just jump to that conclusion. <laughs> and, and to be fair, the man that she killed was a piece of shit, so... Um. <laughs> it must have been really tough on her. Even so... It doesn't excuse all the things she did. Oh no, it doesn't. No. Of course not. Alright. Let's I am um, sadly a Mystic Morgan apologist. <laughs> it was a murder, but not a crime. You're right, Mag. Yeah, yeah. Except it was also a crime because she's in solitary confinement now. <laughs> yeah, she did try to frame someone for it. Yeah. Sounds like someone's happy. What tune is that they're humming? Ba da ba da da ba da da ba. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he appeared so slowly. <laughs> no motive, no crime. No motive, no crime. Sing it with me. No motive, motive no, no crime. crime. <laughs> Wait, now I'm trying to do mental math. Is Clavi or Gavin a, a rock star at this point? <laughs> <laughs> Is he singing a Gavineer song? Because Holy as we shit. as we oh are going God, to find man. out in Apollo Justice, Clavi or Gavin, even though he has a band, all of their songs are fucking law themed. <laughs> Maybe they added this in in this edition, or they hinted Maybe at they it did. in the next game. That would be really funny uh -huh. <laughs> if they went back and added in this line. I remember. When we used to search oh. in the channeling room in Kurine. Whew, I love my job. <laughs> Who cares if the clues I find are no good? That's not what investigating's all about. Dummy. The investigator investigates for the love of investigating. It's a passion. Good cases we have, good cases we've lost along the way. I would have never guessed that Gumption was into <laughs> reggae. What? Okay, maybe maybe it is not uh, a Gavineer song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, every case <laughs> is gonna be airtight. <laughs> every case is gonna be airtight. Oh wait, is it to the tune of "Don't You Worry"? Yeah. About a thing. Because every case Everything. is gonna be our type. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I get it now. They are not making an Apollo Justice reference. Hey, pal. <laughs> huh? Who, me? How long have you been there? I just got here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what are you up to, detective? I'm investigating, pal. I made a promise to Mr. Edgeworth. I promised I would find the real moiter weapon. The real moiter weapon? That Bob sword thing turned out to be a false lead, right? I'm giving it my best shot here, but I still haven't turned up any clues. I just found these weird scraps of paper. Looks like a letter or something. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the case, though. Ah, uh, let me be the judge of that. A letter? So how's the investigation going, Detective Gumshoe? I don't know if I should be telling you, pal. But I guess it can't hurt. Yeah, listen to your old pal, Phoenix. <laughs> Tell me everything about the case. Well, it looks like the murder took place in the Inner Temple Garden. And they're taking that bloody writing on the lantern pretty seriously back at HQ. What? You mean... I don't have the details, pal. All I know is, if you don't find Maya down in that sacred cavern, we're gonna be faced with one ugly situation. What kind of ugly situation are we looking at here? You got me! I don't know! <laughs> Thanks, Gummy. my words, pal. Then who said it? Mr. Godot. Godot? What did he mean by that? 
about that letter you found. Don't remind me, pal. Busting a, I'm busting a gut here trying to find the Moida weapon. <laughs> I was really scared there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> busting a nut <laughs> trying to find this Moida weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll find some burnt up old letter. Burnt up old letter? Yeah, it was in that incinerator right outside the in The incinerator? I knew it. I knew I wasn't imagining it. There was snow on the incinerator when I first saw it. But after the incident, the snow had melted away. Which means someone used the incinerator on the night of the- Well, I don't know that they used it on the night of the murder, but... What's up with you, pal? I've got it right here if you want to take a look. C can I? Do you mind? Sure, go nuts. I don't want it, pal. You can have it. I would love to become famous. Thank you so much. I want to wow. be famous. <laughs> hey, I want to be famous. Want to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> it's all spirit mediums and stuff. I bet it's got no relation to the case. It's not in any way related. Spirit awesome. mediums? <laughs> Famous last words. It's got to be important if it mentions spirit mediums and masters. I'd better give it a good looking over and some serious thought. Make sure you chuck it in the trash when you're done. Littering's a crime, pal. Yeah, okay, buddy. Before I look at this letter, let's talk about the murder weapon. The, sorry, the Moida weapon. So Thank do you, you know... <laughs> so what do you know about the real Moida weapon so far? Well, it wasn't the Shichishito that was found impaled in the victim's body, I'll tell you that much. Why does Shichishito sound like a hot, one of those hot peppers? Yeah! It's oh, a number of, it's 89 Shishito. on the scovel. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> That's pretty spicy. It's delicious. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth proved that in court today. Yes, that's true. In which case, it must have been another blade. And that's what you're running around like a headless chicken looking for now, huh? Yeah. And man, is it tiring work? But let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. We've got the feather of forensics in our cap these days. We're using the department's secret weapon on this. Is it, uh... I forgot- I've forgotten the dog's name. <laughs> Missile? Missile! I was like, all I could think of was Torpedo! <laughs> torpedo! Oh, that's his brother. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he works at a different police department. <laughs> secret weapon? What's this secret weapon of yours? You want to know? You've got to think scientifically, okay? Alright. The Moida weapon was a sword. Swords are, scientifically speaking, made of metal, right? Any questions so far? No. I know what he's gonna say, but I'll let him look smart. So, what's the perfect tool for the job? Ta-da! A metal detector. Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming from a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna give scientific investigation a go? Huh? N me? I've been using this thing for hours now. It gets pretty boring after a while. Why don't you give it a try? I don't know. Can I help Detective Gumshoe out or not? Let's play forensics expert. <laughs> Come on, pal. It's good fun, I'm telling ya. Alright then. I guess I'll give it a go. Like I said, this is the department's most advanced gadget. The absolute best. <laughs> It's so sensitive, you could make a cry. It's so high-tech, you could skydive off of it. Um... Oh, bother. So, now I'm gonna tell you how to use it. It's possible the real Moida weapon is around here somewhere, right? Sure, that's what we're trying to find out. Right, so first, let's turn this detector on. That's the sound of the metal detector's signal bouncing off of something metallic. Next... Move the detector around and give this courtyard a good look-see, pal. Don't worry, 
This baby will let you know when you've hit something metallic. And when that happens, press ENTER to give the area a good hard stare. This thing picks up metallic objects that are foreign f that are hidden from sight too. Take a good look at anything and everything that seems suspicious. Okay, pal? I'm so sorry that sped through without me, like, um, no actually clicking on it. <laughs> also, Mac, all of a sudden, after you finished talking, you became quiet, so I don't know if your oh. mic's doing weird thing again. How about that? Better. Good. good. Okay, good. I think it was on the verge of being a bitch. Okay, so clearly that's, um... Hey, that's metal! <laughs> hey, that's metal! <laughs> Wait a minute! This is Ms. Donim's staff, isn't it? I do remember this part. This is why I went right to it. <laughs> uh, scientifically speaking, they're usually made of wood. But the detector is reacting to it. Yeah, but however you look at it, the thing's made of wood. <laughs> is this a sword cane? I don't bother investigating anything unless it looks like it might be metallic. Gumshoe. Gumshoe. You're off. looking for a, a weapon that is hidden. And I'm proud it is, of it. It is a sword cane. Isn't the whole point of a metal detector to find metal where you can't see it? It's weird that this thing is causing a racket. Here, let me take a look at it. Hey, hands off. Examining evidence is a job for the... Crack. <laughs> The trap is coming off! Look what you've done! You've damaged a really important piece of evidence! Ah! <laughs> yep. Sword cane! Sword cane! Sword cane! Sword cane! Sword cane! A sword! Inside the staff! Is this. Could it be? The mortar weapon? Mortar weapon? I never have guessed there'd be a sword concealed in the victim's staff. They call this kind of thing a sword cane, pal. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a real gem. The workmanship is really something else. How would you know? Um, I am a fine purveyor of sword canes. Are you? <laughs> Do not own one, but I like to look. No, I'm imagining that Gumshoe is the type of person that would buy a bunch of replica swords and hang them on his wall. Like oh, our father, no. Becca. <laughs> it's a cane sword, or else the victim would have stabbed her own foot. <laughs> Mac, I love that you lose the. <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> oh, he is so stupid, and I love him so much. I just want to give him a hug. Yeah. I officially give up on trying to figure out how Gumshoe's mind works. If the real scene of the crime was the inner temple garden, then why was the sword used to kill the victim found in the main, main hall courtyard? Hey Gumshoe, who knows about the hidden sword? No one. Even the police didn't know about this until I discovered it just now. <laughs> well, as they say, there's no team in Gumshoe. <laughs> It doesn't look like there are any traces of blood on it. Then I guess this isn't the Moida weapon, huh? No, 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 no! I'm sure someone just wiped it off after the murder. Yeah, of course! This thing's definitely the Moida weapon. Great job, pal! What I'm saying, buddy, is that you should get some luminol and test it. About the same length as a Shichishito, too. This must be the murder weapon. Okay, I'm gonna run over to forensics. There's gotta be some traces of blood left, even if most of it has been wiped off. See you later, pal. Bye, Gummy. Every case is gonna be airtight. Airtight, airtight. <laughs> Hold it! Wait up, detective! Huh? What is it, pal? I'm a pretty busy guy right now, you know? You're going to get that staff analyzed, right? Would you mind holding off for just a while? Huh? What are you talking about, pal? Please. Just until we find Maya. Maya? What's this got to do with her? I don't know, but I'm starting to get a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. 
Oh, how so? Look, Maya's trapped inside the sacred cavern right now, and... Well, we don't even know if she's okay or not. The more evidence and testimony I hear, the more uneasy I feel. Y you don't think? Maya's been mur- Please, detective! Let's just wait until we can get inside of the sacred cavern. Oh, Phoenix! You're looking kind of Viridian there. Nice vocab word. I took the SATs. Okay, okay. Just stop it with that face, pal. One thing, though. The staff's secret trick. Let's keep it between you and me, alright? If it gets out that we knew about it and didn't say anything, we're finished. I understand. This is just a regular run-of-the-mill staff. You got it? I feel like I'm remembering a part of the upcoming trial where we have to continue under the assumption that it is a regular old staff for a while, and the game makes it very clear that you need to continue with that assumption. And it's a very frustrating part. <laughs> anyway. Okay, now you take good care of it, pal. Thank you, detective. Actually, you know what? Maybe it won't be very frustrating. I can definitely see a portion in the upcoming trial where because we're the only two that know about it, we catch someone in a lie, right? Like, um, like we've done that before with evidence, right? Like, we've, we've known the truth about something, but uh, a witness on the stand has not. Um, and they've revealed that they also know, and then thereby revealed themselves to actually be the murderer or whatever. Anyway. Oh. I, I, now that I'm thinking about it a second time over, I think that might be the case. Don't worry. She'll be fine. Gumshoe. You this know, is character. <laughs> there's a place at the base of this mountain that has some pasta. How about I take you there when you find Maya? Huh, pal? Aww. Oh, sure. Thanks. Gummy! Our bestie! Has the Amaya's sword hidden starving. inside. No one knows this except me and Detective Gumshoe. Can't help but wonder, though. What was Elise Donim doing with a staff like this in the first place? You know, I'm pretty sure the anime, um... Uh, it's Edgeworth and phoenix that find that find that out so oh I'm like, no you're right it is i remember i remember seeing the scene animated um because yeah. i remember both of them standing there and one of them's holding the staff and they're like whoa what the fuck because they're like um, they're like passing it to one another um, yeah and it slips and, like, and then they're like wait what <laughs> so I'm, I'm curious about that rewrite <laughs> we, we gotta add the Phoenix Ray anime to the watch list. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know what? Some night we should have like a um maybe maybe another night where like multiple people can't make it to legally bald. We can do like a Friday night, like everybody hangs out in the Discord and we just watch the Phoenix Ray anime together. Oh, that, that would be cute. Fun. That would be very fun. So All wait, right. so we can t we can talk to Edgeworth now, right? Yeah, yeah. I think we can talk That's more to Edgeworth point. because we've got we've got a little bit more information about um, Iris's sister. Um, Whoever could she be? Oh, I don't know. Oh wait, no. Um, I want to <laughs> present. Um. I'm gonna start with this. Let's just go. Hey, Edgeworth. Did you know that Iris had a twin sister? What? <laughs> a twin? You can't be serious. Sister Bikini told me, but problem is, she didn't know the name of this twin. There was nothing about Iris having a sister in the files I checked. Well, Iris was taken, taken in by the temple when she was really young. Apparently, her sister was raised by her father. A jeweler, I think. A jeweler? Right. I... I just might know who this twin sister of... I had a feeling you'd say that. Let me guess. 
Her name is Dahlia Hawthorne, right? Yes, exactly. Please tell me what you know about her, Edgeworth. Please. It was my first court case, six years ago. I was a greenhorn, and due to my inexperience, the defendant died. Talking about Terry Falls, right? You, you, you know about that case? I literally looked it up last night. You're not the only one who noticed something about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne. I checked one of Mia's old files from six years ago. Yes, Dahlia was a key witness in that case. Dahlia and Terry Falls conspired together to stage a fake kidnapping 11 years ago. They stole a jewel worth $2 million from Dahlia. A jeweler. And five years after that, she murdered her own sister, Valerie Hawthorne, to keep her from talking. What a fucked up family. <laughs> right? Her sister? So well, her stepsister, actually. They weren't blood-related. We all failed to mention this in the previous case. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie was the only daughter of Dahlia's father's second- Oh god! Dahlia's father's second wife. <laughs> I know, what Dahlia's mouthful. stepmother. Like, you can say that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And this is when she entered my life. The woman who tried to kill me. <laughs> I mean, I did... <laughs> I did eat glass for her, but... <laughs> so, after Terry glass. Falls died, <laughs> what happened to Dahlia? Did you check that out? Does it really matter? Yes! <laughs> like I said, Dahlia isn't connected with this case. Au oh, contraire, sure mon frere! <laughs> Why are you so sure about that? It's simple. Dahlia Hawthorne is dead. What? Well, her metabolic processes are a matter of interest only speak. Can, can you run that line by me one more time, Edgeworth? <laughs> did it cut out? Yeah. It did yeah. cut out. Okay, yeah. Well, her metabolic processes are a matter of interest only to historians, so to speak. The Why fuck does that mean? are you like this? Is she a bomb body? Like, what? Why are you like this, Edgeworth? Has her body been done? Her metabolic science? processes are a matter of interest. What? So to speak, you know. So to speak! Uh, who, no one speaks like that! There is no so to speaking to do here! You know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by Dahlia Hawthorne's biological processes are a matter of interest <laughs> only to historians, Edgeworth? <laughs> <laughs> right. I must confess that in reading her file. Were you also practicing for the SAT again? You <laughs> 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 were practicing. <laughs> you might have heard him be quite loquacious today. Oh my fucking... <laughs> I came to know of the murder case you were involved in during your college years. Oh, God. I know about you, too. <laughs> Please don't tell me you read the part where I ate glass. You ate glass? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't read that? <laughs> the court stenographer graciously left that out of the court record. <laughs> the witness Phoenix Wright was rushed to the sorry, the defendant Phoenix Wright was rushed to the hospital for dot 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 <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Fuck. Dolly Hawthorne was found guilty. Thanks to the persistence of Mia Fey.
Yeah, Becca. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was clipping something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it okay, ran. Doing Lord's work. Yeah. Me a fay. The week. Anyway, <laughs> at the time, Dahlia. It's like she was possessed by a demon or something. <laughs> That was her phoenix. Oh my god. It's been almost five years since that guilty verdict was handed down. And her sentence was finally carried out. She was executed last month. Oh. Executed? I'm sure that's a bit of a shock for you, right? And for more reasons than one. But do you understand now? She can't possibly be connected with this case. Uh... She's dead, and once someone is dead, there's no way to revive them. Oh, Edgy, you sweet summer child. Oh, this is boy. just the beginning of a much oh, greater yeah. Rubik's Cube. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way to revive the dead? Edgeworth, have you been around these games for the past? Hmm, I wonder. Seems you're not aware of one other connection yet, Edgeworth. And what is that? It's about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne's mother. What's their mother got to do with any of this? She's Morgan Fay, a spirit medium from a branch family of the Kurine channeling technique. Did you say Kurine channeling technique? Yes, you I did say been... Kurine you channeling think... technique. This man. What do you? <laughs> he know he knows so much about it. Do you know something about it? <laughs> you ate glass to electric boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the clip, back. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> I know it's connected with that fraudulent spirit medium. Edgeworth, we've been oh. over this before. She wasn't oh, fraudulent. Yes. She just found the the witness that she called didn't know what happened. Fraudulent. Dad didn't want to implicate you for murder. Yeah. I was involved in another nightmare seventeen years ago. Yeah, Edgeworth, we know. I mean, I, I know. know you this, I know you're there. turning to the audience. Like, hi, I was involved in another. <laughs> oh, you see, I was caught up in the middle of a murder. The police didn't have any leads. Oh my well, god. Well, in West California. Born and raised. <laughs> in West Japan, California, born and raised. The playground is where I spent most, most of my, of my days. days. Oh god. They were stumped. And that's when they called her in. The fresh prince of the courtroom. <laughs> she was a very famous spirit medium and the master of her channeling school. But you know what happened? Yeah, I do. As a result of her efforts, an innocent man was accused of... She and her powers. They were all fraudulent. The Good bitch, Doug. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> French Prince of the Piss Court. <laughs> Fresh Prince of Piss! <laughs> I, here's the thing. I do wish um, <laughs> the CC filled in Bel Air for me. I said <laughs> Fresh Prince of Piss. Surely you meant of Bel Air. And it was like, <laughs> no, you meant Bel Air. <laughs> um, uh. Oh my god. Um, I don't even know what I was gonna fucking say. I, I don't. Anyway, Edgeworth. How many times do I say Edgeworth? New drinking game. Take a drink every time Phoenix says Edgeworth. Dot dot dot. <laughs> <laughs> We would get wasted. You're drunk. <laughs> At least in a case like this, we would get wasted pretty fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go to the police records room. It's all in there. All you have to do is check the deluxe incident case file, and you'll know. Bitch, I already have. Of course. How could I for I didn't forget. We we've been expositing for the audience. Edgeworth was the victim <laughs> in that case.
We no, finished no, he positing was, he, for 30 minutes! He wasn't the victim! He's clearly alive! I think, <laughs> I think he means, like, He was the defendant. A, I think he means, like, in a... Oh, no. Oh, he lost he, his family? Yeah. Edgeworth, you'll understand someday. I don't know why you don't already understand, yeah. because you've clearly seen Maya and Pearl's uh, <laughs> channel Mia Fey in court, so... That didn't count because I was closing my eyes. Oh my god. Why were <laughs> you did, closing your I eyes in court? Looking. I was not looking. I did not see it. <laughs> <laughs> Edgeworth really said, I can't see suddenly. I don't know how. This is why they gave him glasses in Dual Destinies. <laughs> they were like, this explains everything. <laughs> He's just needed glasses for years. And then you'll see that the Kurine channeling technique is real. I have a feeling you're going to see it very soon. I Did we get everything we need out of Edgeworth? Um, are we ready to tackle Iris? To the ground? The yeah, We're in a headlock? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because we have Dahlia's Hawthorne's Yeah, profile that's in. true. Um, before we do that, let's take one more really quick break. I, cl I keep clicking BRB <laughs> instead of just chatting. So um, I am going to put on some low chill fi beats uh, for this one. I'll mute the game. Oh, oh, wait, I gotta reopen Spotify. Fuck. <laughs> you can do it. Okay, this is fine. I thought it would take forever to load. Sometimes it does. Anyway. Enjoy some chill lo-fi beats. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit.
Y'all, we have a very special guest. Oh, woo. Mm -hmm. It's a baby! Is that he a beautiful girl I see? She woke up from her nap. Aww. Say hello. She was screaming at me just now, and now I'm she's back. placated. Now that she has a mic. <laughs> <gasps> Do you have any post-nap thoughts for the world? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Her post-nap thoughts are purring. Mm. Oh, baby. Yeah, Donna came back and now she's like sleeping on my bed. Oh, sleepy Donna. On our earlier break, I walked down the hallway to the restroom. And I turned on the light in the bedroom because I was like, maybe Squirtle's in here. And she was curled up in my comforter. <laughs> and she just looked up and was like squinting at the light and was like, meow. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, lady. And I turned off the light again for her. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> oh. My principessa. My principessa. Oh. Buongiorno. <laughs> Buongiorno. <laughs> Buonanotte. <laughs> mm. Sometimes I really just look at Berwin and I'm creature. Creature? You're just a little creature. Every day I look at Squirtle and I say, You're a little baby, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. You're a I... little baby. <laughs> oh. You look I, so alarmed. I just... Afraid. <laughs> what a sweetheart. <laughs> I've let go of your body. What will you do now? <laughs> oh, she's just gonna vibe. Wow. Wait, are you just gonna sit here? You just gonna sit here? I mean, I am holding on to your peats. Oh, okay. If I <laughs> if I let go of her peats, she jumps. <laughs> it was the peat that uh that kept her in line. Peat anchor. Ah, uh, oh, damn. Peat platform. I'm all out, <laughs> y'all. I'm out. Of, I'm all out of the edible. I forgot to stop by a dispensary when I was in Illinois. Oh no! Oh, I know. Are you gonna visit during Christmas? Yeah, I am. Okay, It'll be fine. Stop by then. Plus, yeah. <laughs> plus, my mom already told me. <laughs> she was like, "I'm putting edibles in everybody's stocking this year." <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <why it is. laughs> wow. Mom, wow! Well. Oh, mom. That's <laughs> I'm, hilarious. It was. I, so I like lost it when I heard when she told me that. <laughs> I love her so much. Uh, I love her. She sounds great. Good she's gone. Mom. Our mom she's, is so great. She's gone off the rails recently. She like wants everybody <laughs> get. A, she wants everybody to get a family tattoo, um, <laughs> and she's putting edibles in our in our stockings. Admittedly, the tattoo thing is cute. The uh. tattoo thing is really cute. Um, but uh, <laughs> she regularly calls me and like cusses out her coworkers. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> Queen. Like yeah. ever ever since I'm, I turned like eighteen, she she is <laughs> she's she like finally be unleashed. Literally, mm -hmm. literally, mom has gone feral. It's incredible. She <laughs> has. It's really incredible to watch. I'm so she's happy like for my, her. She's like my my last um biological child is now an adult. I don't have to, I don't have to be a good Christian mother anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Mom deleted her good Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> uh, now she has edibles and Twitch streams Minecraft on her new hot Literally. Minecraft server. Mm -hmm. Literally. It's so funny. I it's love her so, so much. so fucking funny. The only thing about my mom is that she is an incurable centrist, but that is her one and only flaw. Um, <laughs> anyway... All right, let's present this. Take that, Iris. We know your secrets, girl. God, what is she so pretty for? <laughs> Every time she does that that pose, I'm like, 
Like, I, oh, pretty girl. Yeah. The eyelashes. I swoon. I'm like, yeah, it's the eyelashes, honestly. I think it's time you told the truth about what you were doing on that night. You said you were in your room at Hazakura Temple the entire time. Do you still claim that to be the truth? Yes, that's where I was. Bitch, both of us know that ain't true. Iris, I believe you're innocent. That's why I want to believe what you're telling me too, but I can't. Because this person saw you somewhere else on the night of the murder. I'm- Is that Bikini? Was it Bikini? Uh, oh, right, right, yeah, because she said- she said, um... Oh yeah, Bikini, yeah. Yeah. It, she did say that. I'm talking about Sister Bikini, of course. This Sister Bikini. Her testimony in court today was very clear. That night, I was helping an acolyte with her training in the Inner Temple, but... Well, as you can see, my back likes to act up violently. So, I left Iris to help the acolyte and returned to Hazakura Temple. I was doing a stretch. <laughs> Sister Bikini didn't just see you, she spoke with you. You two talked about Maya's training that night. So you see, Iris, you were there at the Inner Temple on the night of the murder. That's very impressive, Mr. Wright. Is it? I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't think it is. He wasn't even involved in the trial. Edgeworth was the one that found that out. <laughs> The Acolyte's actual training was due to start after 10 o'clock that night. I left the main hall early, so I wouldn't be late. What time was that? Let me see. It takes about 20 minutes to walk between the main hall and the inner temple. So I would have left at about 9.40pm, I think. Sorry, Iris, but mine just doesn't suit you. Huh? Now, you say you left the main hall at 9.40 p.m., but what you say doesn't add up with this. Is it okay. the, um, jet ski thing in figure? Not jet ski, but snowmobile. Yeah, I think it has to do with the snowmobile. Um. Did we ever read that note? Oh, we did! <laughs> Let's do that really quick! <laughs> be careful! Once night falls, should be there. As soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. Leave everything up to her. Her name is... She is our all... The whole... Here is a picture of her. Use it when you channel her. I know you can do it. Once this is... Burn the... Also make... Tell anyone about this letter. <laughs> Gravely roast the master uh -huh. in the fire of Hades and bring oh. our vengeance to fruition. Damn. Gravely roast. Um. Do you guys want me to read that in character? <laughs> no, it's fine. Um. Anyway. <laughs> um. So the tracks. Bring out. Rang lights out bell at 10 p.m. and then was in her room until the murder was discovered. Uh. I, I guess. It doesn't match with her testimony? I don't say anything yet, Rand. Um. Okay. Received before the lights out bell of the night of the crime. It. Was it the fact that she gave us the hood? What time was that that she gave us? I wish I could remember. Yeah, but... Do you want to know? No. Okay. Um... I want to give it a try first. Um, I'm thinking either the hood... Or her testimony or the tracks photo. <laughs> Wait, because this is... um. Did we establish that, um, Bikini was the one that drove the snowmobile back? Or do we still not know who drove the snowmobile? 
We still don't know, technically, because um, the only person who had a key to it was Iris. Gotcha. So we were all like, oh, that, that makes her guilty or whatever, because uh-huh. like, oh, she, she couldn't Ooh. have stayed, she couldn't have stayed at the, at Hazakura Temple. I actually. just noticed the footprints. <laughs> yeah, there's also a set of, and I can't Aren't remember. Those phoenixes? Aren't those phoenixes though? Oh, uh, possibly. Didn't, it, didn't, it, didn't we decide those were phoenixes? We might have, yeah. yeah. Let me, oh, I don't think it's this. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Moray. But mistakes just don't suit me. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Suit, so, you know. Anyway. <laughs> I had hoped you would get at least this much correct. Damn. Wow. I hate I hate seeing you mess up and getting all disappointed. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know she could be so harsh. I Iris, Dahlia. what are you trying to hide? Mm-hmm. The more you lie about it, the more I know it's got to be something really important. Now you say, okay. It doesn't add up with this. Um... I mean, I guess I'm going to present her testimony. Yeah, okay. It really is as simple as that. (laughs) You testified to the contrary, don't you remember? You said you rang the lights out bell at 10 o'clock that night. Uh. (laughs) What? Only moments before you rang that bell. You were seen at the main hall by the most reliable witness I have. Who's that? Me. (laughs) Mr. Rice. Even spoke a little that evening. That's when you gave me this. Surely you haven't forgotten. No. That's right. I remember. That brings us to another puzzling fact, Iris. At 10 o'clock on the night of the murder, you were seen in two different places at the same time. It's time you told me exactly what's been going on, Iris. So far, I've managed to prove two things. First, on the night of the incident, you were at the Inner Temple. And second, at the exact same time, you were ringing the bell at Hazakura Temple. There's only one possible explanation for this apparent impossibility. There were two of you. Yep. On the night of the incident, you were seen in two different places at the same time. Which means there must have been two of you. I can't think of any other explanation, Iris. But but that's crazy. How could that be? There's only one of me. It's impossible. Impossible? I wonder why your trembling seems to certainly suggest otherwise. Go. (laughs) (laughs) You're seriously trying to suggest there's more than one of me? Then show me the evidence. Show me something that proves there is more than one of me. Um, you have a twin sister. I have a firm grasp of the situation now, Iris. You have a sister, don't you? A twin sister, perhaps? Ah. That's right, Dahlia Hawthorne. Woman, I know. <laughs> She's your color swap, your palette swap. <laughs> your mirror verse. <laughs> when too many people choose you in Smash Brothers. <laughs> I, you know, for years people have been saying, like, put Phoenix Wright in Smash, invite Phoenix Wright to Smash Brothers, who they really should invite is Dahlia Hawthorne. <laughs> <laughs> A woman I know only too well. I had no idea you knew of her. Very impressive, Mr. Wright. Doubt! Us X to doubt. But she's no longer... (laughs) Yes, I know. Her sentence was carried out recently, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Thank you. There's no need to explain now, is there, Iris? This second you who was here at the temple on the night of the murder is your twin sister, Dahlia Hawthorne. But, But you just said it yourself a second ago. My sister's dead. Have you forgotten that? Have you forgotten this, Iris? 
This is a channeling dojo, a training ground of the Kurine channeling technique. Yes. That night, someone channeled Dahlia's spirit, and you knew about it. And that's the secret you've been trying to hide from me. <laughs> we turned on the fan. <laughs> Unlock successful. I was in my room in the main hall that night. As soon as I heard that I'd been spotted at the inner temple, I knew. I knew it was my sister. Dahlia, the other half of me who passed away last month. Just as I suspected. The iris that Sister Bikini saw at the inner temple on the night of the murder. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Why didn't you tell me this before? But because... Because my sister always does the right thing. I streamed <laughs> out! <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> and because I mustn't get in the way of what she's trying to do. Oh, baby, you've been traumatized. Baby! I already betrayed her once before. I can't do it again. Oh my god. Baby, you're being gaslit. Yeah, you betrayed her? What do you mean? That's why I... I have to accept I may be found guilty. It's the only way. It's really not, what? baby girl. It's really not. What is she talking about? Oh wait, hold on. Um, not to not to interrupt this, but I did forget to do this earlier. <laughs> Could you take a look at this for me, Iris? She's right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hold off on asking her about things for now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Ryan. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> you're already taking up time, but she could be working on the locks. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. I I'm so sorry. There was one other person that I forgot to. I didn't already try this with Edgeworth, did I? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Ooh! <laughs> I was right! <laughs> Is that your attorney's badge? Interesting. You've already seen it. Yeah. <laughs> I never imagined I'd ever see you wearing Right. We were ten. <laughs> it's because of you that I became one, Edgeworth. Yes, yay. Yay. <laughs> <gasps> Not that I have any regrets. I really don't. <gasps> <laughs> if you're trying to say thanks, you can start by saying it a bit louder. <laughs> no, this is Edgeworth's, like, psychic beam face. He's like, I'm trying to telepathically tell you all my feelings. Why aren't you listening? Yeah, why, why can't you hear them? Why can't you hear them? Mm, Edgeworth them. beam! <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, sorry, uh, can, please continue, Iris. You know about it, don't you, Mr. Wright? About the fake kidnapping that took place here on Eagle Mountain 11 years ago? <clears throat> that was the start of it all. It's what started her down that twisted path. <laughs> Pretty twisted. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Sick and twisted mind. She started to commit crime after crime, and in the end, she... She lost her life. It, it's all because I betrayed her. Girl. <laughs> How did you betray her, Iris? It was no coincidence that Eagle Mountain is where the exchange was to take place. After all, I... I helped plan the whole thing. <gasps> what? But I got scared, so I ran away. What are you talking about? Why would you help her? Stealing two million dollars from your own father? I mean, that's not, like, terrible, I guess. But <laughs> I mean, like, do I it. Yeah, but, like, but why? <laughs> I promised. I promised that I'd help. And Help. Don't me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> she didn't do it for the money. Huh? It was revenge on our father. I deserve. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Revenge. Oh. <laughs> well, we've looped around! <laughs> what do you mean by revenge? 
He was a hideous man. He threw our mother away and then sent her to hell. Wow. <laughs> wow, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> her mother? She must be talking about Morgan Fay. Her what? husband's pretty powerful to be able to send people straight to hell. Our mother was the eldest daughter of the main branch of the Fay family. The main family had a lot of influence in many business and political circles at the time. As the eldest daughter, our mother was set to inherit all of that as the next master. That's the reason our father married our mother in the first place. For power. Rip. But his plan backfired. Because our mother's sister took it all from her, she took over as the master of Kurain. That would be Misty Fay, Maya's mother. But for long, the credibility of Kurain of the Kurain tradition hit rock bottom. The new master, Mystic Misty Fay, made a terrible mistake. It was during the investigation of the Deluxe Incident. After that happened, our father took me and my twin sister away, leaving our mother in our home behind. He hated the place. He said it was a hick dive and that he had no reason to stay there. Damn. And that's when you came here to Hazakura Temple? Yes. The woman my father took as his next wife already had a daughter. Valerie. What? You can only have two daughters at one time? <laughs> I... I had no place in this fa new family, you see. What the fuck? <laughs> that is really oh, weird. That is so I'm not sure up. I understand any of your father's logic, but yeah, he sounds like a terrible man. And I haven't seen my mother once since then. Having the master's seat stolen from her and being rejected by her own family... I've heard she's been very battered, spiritually and emotionally. I think I'm finally beginning to see how the pieces fit together. <gasps> she. I have her. asked her everything I can in my capacity as a prosecutor. This incident. Everything related to it goes back to the history of the Fae Clan. That's what it looks like. Iris, there's just one more thing I want you to tell me. Oh, what is it? During the incident in which her sister, Dahlia Hawthorne, poisoned a lawyer, she began a relationship with a certain college student in order to hide the evidence. That college student... Have you heard anything about mm -hmm. him? Mm, just asking for a friend! <laughs> <coughs> well, I did hear one thing. She said she <gasps> said she hated his guts. Fuck! <laughs> oh, then. I see. Oh. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, that was me. Right. There's still much to investigate. Ms. Von Karma would never whip a pretty girl. <laughs> never. Leave these locks to me. I'll open for them for you. I promise. Thank you. Suppose I'd better continue my investigation. There's still one giant secret left to unlock. Pearl's psyche lock. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I totally forgot that we still had to go back and talk to Pearls. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be like the final conversation of the night. I was like gearing up for it. That's why I interrupted her and uh <laughs> Edge with the badge. I was like, we're not gonna have another chance. <laughs> but no. Oh, pearls. pearls. <laughs> Look at that. They really did make a fire right in front of the shack. Oh, Mr. Nick. Huh. It's too late, Nick. If you came here for one of our potatoes, We've already polished them all off. Please don't tell me they were actually half rotten. I think I've pretty much got all the evidence I need. Now they I weren't. Need they were mostly rotten. <laughs> Why did you feed her rotten anyway? Now She's I just sick to my stomach, Nick. 
<laughs> You're paying for all the tums I'm gonna buy for her. <laughs> now I just need to find out where Pearls is hiding. All right, Pearls. Take that! Take that! Oh, Poey. After dinner on the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Elise Donim's room reading a book together, correct? <gasps> yes! I was so happy when she invited me. She's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> but... I didn't go in the end. You didn't go? No. There was somewhere else I had to go instead. I was so worried. I, I had to go. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was so nervous. So, Pearls never went to Ms. Donim's room. You knew that. Yeah. <laughs> because she was too worried about something else, something or someone else. Pearls. On the night of the murder, you went to this place, didn't you? Oh, fuck. The inner temple, right? I guess. She was the one that was some that summoned Dahlia's spirit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You went here, didn't you, Pearls? I wasn't I wasn't sure if the note said like to meet at Heavenly Hall or something like that. Ah, uh, I got you, I see. Looks like she's still not going to open up to me. This is where you went because you were so Oh no no no, she was so uh -oh. worried too because she was worried about Maya. Mm-hmm. Then the oh, next right. question yeah, is, yeah, yeah. who or what were you so worried about? Now, I'm going to take a guess. You can tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? Y you mean you know? Pearls, I know everything. I'm an adult. <laughs> if I'm right... That's a lie. <laughs> no, it's true, Pearls. Will you tell no. me the whole truth? I live with you. I know. That's a lie. But Who's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a full face <laughs> lie, Mr. Nick, but go off, I guess. Fuck. Why am I always getting taken apart by toddlers? <laughs> <laughs> you went there for Maya. Obvious what you were so worried about, Pearls. It was Maya, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You knew the training Maya was undertaking was dangerous. After all, it was the special course. I signed up for your special course. Well, my, my, my. Quite brave of you, considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one with those you channel. <laughs> 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 Don't blame me if you fucking bite the dust. You signed you just... a contract. Yeah, David. you had to sign a... A waiver. A waiver. <laughs> Sister Bikini scared you with what she said, didn't she? Because it was you who introduced Hazakura to Temple to Maya in the first place. You felt responsible, didn't you? Thinking about what could happen to Mystic Maya made me more and more worried. I couldn't sit still at all. Oh, baby. That's why I decided to go and find out how she was doing at the Inner Temple. And we're clear now that you went to the Inner Temple that night, Pearls. What's not clear is what happened after that. Uh. But what time was it when you headed over to the inter Inner Temple? Um... It was probably around 9.30 when I left the main hall. I heard the real training was supposed to start at 10. I wanted to get there before it started. But there was so much snow, so I didn't get there until after 10 o'clock. Until after 10? How did you know what time it was? Because I heard the bell ringing for lights out. You heard the lights out bell? The Hasakura Temple's Temple Bell's pretty small, though, isn't it? You must have really good hearing. I... I was really trying to pick up the sound of that bell, that's all. I didn't want to miss it. That would be terrible. She was trying to hear the bell. Tell me, Pearls. 
Why were you so worried about hearing that bell? Oh, I... I think I know why. The reason you were so worried about that bell was because of this. <sighs> what did this say again? As soon as you hear- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. It's because of this. You got this note, didn't you? You were given some instructions to follow for that night, weren't you? Yes. I presume you recognize these pieces of paper? Where did you? In the incinerator at the temple. Pearls. You were following the instructions in this letter that night, weren't you? That's why you couldn't afford to miss the sound of the lights out bell. I... I'm speechless, Mr. Nickbitch. You're amazing. I told you, I know everything! These instructions that were found in the incinerator... I believe they were written for you, Pearls. For me? I... No. We've already established that they're for you. As you can see, a large portion has been burnt. But the last section is still fairly legible. As soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. Who was it, Pearl? Whose spirit were you supposed to be channeling? Mm. Taking into account the author of the note and their purpose for writing it, Whose spirit would Pearls have been trying to channel? Don't overthink it, Phoenix. It's pretty obvious who Pearls was supposed <laughs> to channel. The person you were trying to channel that night, Pearls, was... Dahlia. Yes. It was Dahlia Hawthorne, wasn't it? That was the name that was in the letter. <laughs> ah! It's just as I suspected. It wasn't Iris whose sister Bikini met at the inner temple that night. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Do you know anything about her, Pearls? Do you know what kind of a woman Dahlia Hawthorne was? Um, no. I've never heard of anyone by that name before reading those instructions. I thought so. Pearls doesn't have a clue. She doesn't know that Dahlia is her sister. Oh. Maybe we better keep it that way, honestly. <laughs> yeah, doesn't need to know that. Yeah. About the instructions in the letter I found, Pearls. Who wrote them? Um... I have a feeling. Mm -hmm. Whoever it was asked you to channel the spirit of someone you'd never heard of. Pearls, do we need to go over cybersecurity again? Sorry, spiritual security again? <laughs> you must have quite a lot of respect for them. After all, you followed their their instructions without question. So here's my next question. Who wrote this set of instructions for you to follow? Um, your mom. Yeah. Pearls. I have to wonder about something. You didn't have any idea what these instructions meant, did you? But, um... But you followed them to the letter regardless. Why? Because it was your own mother who asked you, that's why. How did you? I figured it out. The person who wrote you this letter was your own mother, Morgan Fay. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Pearls, I raised my voice! All right, Pearls, it's time for you- it's time you started telling me the truth. <laughs> Mr. Nickenbitch, hey! Why is she holding back from me? I don't like this. Don't underestimate me, just because I'm a child. Huh? If you're trying to say I followed these instructions, I'd like to see some proof. What? I want a lawyer. <laughs> Pearls, I, I am your lawyer. <laughs> I don't think you have any. Oh, I do though, Pearls. She'd say anything rather than to admit than admit to carrying out those instructions. I guess I'll have to produce some more evidence then. One more thing should do it. All right, Pearls. We both know someone carried out these instructions on the night of the murder. But you're right. There's no evidence that proves it was you. I knew it. <laughs> However, I do know that whoever did it was a child. Huh? 
How do you know that? It couldn't have been an adult. No adult would have made a simple mistake like that. <laughs> oh. Uh, simple mistake? What do you mean by that? I'm sure you thought you were carefully following the instructions you'd been given, but you misunderstood some of the words, and this is the evidence that proves it. Uh, it was the gravely roast part. She threw gravy on the, <laughs> on the scroll <laughs> instead of burning it. <laughs> so cute. So cute. It was you who splattered gravy on the hanging scroll, wasn't it? Ah! What? Why would I do something like... Do you remember what was written in that letter? Gravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. But you didn't know how to read the words gravely and roast among others, right? How did you know that? Remember the conversation you had with Ms. Donim on the night of the murder? Perhaps we can read some books together. R really I'd love to. I, um, I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Um, Miss Elise, so, for example, how do you read this? It says, gravely. That's kind of a tough word. <gasps> oh my gosh, she read it? Yeah. yeah. Oh god, no! Yeah. I think that's gonna come up later. Surely Ms. Oh, Donim that's... taught you how to read gravely and roast. But what she didn't teach you is what they meant. Gravely... Oh, that's sorry. <laughs> gravely sounded like gravy to me, and the only roast I could think of was food. Oh. That's why you did it. That's why you covered the picture of the master in gravy from that night's pot roast. To be honest, I did think it was a bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she was just like, sure, I guess. <laughs> She's like, only God can judge you. <laughs> <laughs> and his or sins have number our own. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl's fate is going to kill God by the time she's 18. I feel it. <laughs> I'll love to see it. <sighs> I guess I really did get the wrong idea. Just a tiny bit. I I really am useless. Oh! No, I couldn't even burn the letter properly as my mother had asked me. <laughs> Such Pearls. a simple thing. And I couldn't do it right. Pearls, you're the best! Shut up. Oh, you're the best fuck of Fuck your parents. mom. No, I mean, don't fuck your mom. You're in I the mean, same don't. family. But... <laughs> no, Please don't, don't like fuck that. my mom. <laughs> <laughs> On top of everything. <laughs> I, after dinner that night, I did go to the inner temple. With a, a pot full of the leftover gravy. The gravy? Phoenix, we the already established this. <laughs> I saw the picture on the, on the hanging scroll near the sacred tavern. I was sure it was the master of Kurain, like I said in the letter. See, and then? Well, it was already way past ten when I got there because of all the snow, and also the heavy pot of gravy I was carrying. <laughs> so I went into the inner temple guest area. Yeah, Pearls, you do kind of weigh, I imagine, the same amount as a pot of gravy. Mm -hmm. The guest area? Yes, I thought I could wait there until the training was over. Why didn't you just go to the training hall? Because Mythic Maya's main training had already started, and I couldn't interrupt it. So I just stayed where I was and prayed for her to get through it. Aww. <laughs> but then, I... Pearls, did you fall asleep? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just couldn't help it. Aww! Pearls. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl, who cares if you fell asleep? 
I fell asleep waiting for Iris, too. It happens. That's the first time you've been a comforting presence <laughs> to this child. <laughs> anyway, then you found yourself trapped at the inner temple. Yeah, when I woke up, it was morning. I tried not to cry, but... Dusky Bridge wasn't there anymore, and there was no one in the training hall. I thought everyone had left because I overslept. <laughs> I threw the letter into the incinerator, then I heated up the leftover gravy and... Let off some steam by chucking the gravy onto the scroll while you cried? I thought she was going to say ate it, <laughs> but okay. That's not. <clears throat> it must have been pretty scary for you, Pearl. I know what it's like. Nick used to leave me behind when I fell asleep at school, too. For good reason. Need I remind everyone here that he is the reason that incident happened where Phoenix had a traumatic <laughs> childhood experience being accused of stealing people's lunch money? <laughs> mm -hmm. That was me. <sighs> Don't equate something so trivial with her experience, Larry. It was written in, in my mother's letter. It said, as soon as you hear the lights out, though, you must channel her spirit. Oh, I clicked out of the window. What the fuck did I do to this? What? I got... Ah! Oh, I accidentally closed the chat on OBS. Hold on. Uh -oh. I clicked on something and then it suddenly disappeared. I was like, what the fuck? Here we go. Okay. I was on my way over to the inner temple when I heard the bell ring. So you channeled Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit? No. I tried, but I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it? I've never failed at channeling someone. This is the first time it's happened. I tried and I tried and I tried. Yesterday, this morning, and the whole time. But I just couldn't do it. That seems less like a you problem and more like something else is going on. Don't let it get you down, Pearl. It'll all work out. If you want, I'll come flying through the sky for you. Whoosh! Just like that! <laughs> but she never managed to channel the spirit. Is that why you think your spiritual powers are gone? Oh, I remember. Okay. I just yeah. remembered. <laughs> I... I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other explanation for why you couldn't channel a spirit? I suppose there's one other possibility. It's not very likely, though. Could you please tell me what it is anyway? It could happen if someone else was already channeling the <gasps> same spirit. And I think I know who was. Someone else? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, there's only one of each spirit, right? There's only one other person who knew about the letter. <laughs> is what I'll say. Yep, it's like dating a girl, Nick. You can't see a hot chick if she's already taken. What? <laughs> that hasn't stopped you. Um, anyway, then that would mean on the night of the murder, someone else channeled her spirit before, before Pearls could. Someone else channeled the spirit of Dahlia Hawthorne. I'm a failure. <laughs> I couldn't even grant my mother's final wish. Pearls, this is far from your fault. Her final wish? Yes, this letter. This is my last wish, she said. <laughs> so make sure you follow the instructions wow. carefully. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah. Hmm, this letter. I definitely need to find more out more about it. My mother has gone to a place called a <laughs> penitentiary. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I know pearls. I visit her every month. Oh. And last month she told me. The time we've been waiting for has come, Pearl. I'm nine. <laughs> Girl, I told you, listen when mommy is talking. I'm sorry. Thank you. There's something I need you to do for me. 
I hid a letter for you at our home before they brought me here. I want you to read it and do exactly what it says. It's for the good of the Fey Clan, my angel. We'll be doing a great thing. Now, listen carefully, and I'll tell you where the letter's hidden. Yeah, on second thought, I don't know why I always, uh, um, buy Pearl's train ticket to send her to talk to her. <laughs> her gaslight gatekeep girl boss, uh, mom. Murder mom. She has to learn it from somewhere. She doesn't need to learn the male wife that you're- that you are. Listen, she <laughs> could just follow Maya's example, come on. <laughs> My mother is always nice to me. I love her very much. Oh, sweet Aww. baby girl. <laughs> yeah, moms will do anything for their kids, right? I mean, I'm glad Larry had a good mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said it was for the good of the Fae Clan, so I knew I had to help her. God, this, this is what angel. This is what we get for trying to shield her from the truth that her mom... Uh, a ...was shit. a murderer and tried to <laughs> frame Maya for murder. Um, yeah. that one time. <laughs> yeah. oh. I mean, Mythic Maya's part of the Fae Clan, so it had to be good for her, too. No. Here's the oh, thing, no. kiddo! Oh, no. mm. That's right, isn't it, Mr. Nick Bitch? Uh, no, it's not. I no. guess so, yeah. I mean, it would absolutely destroy Pearl if she knew that she was doing something to hurt Maya. Exactly. Uh, yeah. She wouldn't have done no. it. Yeah. I wouldn't have done it. There was a picture with her letter, too. A picture? Of Ms. Dahlia Hawthorne. Usually a picture is enough to channel someone's spirit, but this time... Pretty weird, huh? Like Larry knows anything about this stuff. This is interesting because I'm I'm uh remembering that in the final game, um... What the fuck is the final name? Spirit of Justice! Jesus Christ. Um, in Spirit of Justice, they actually, in that one, make a point about how you can only channel someone if you know both their face and their true... <laughs> they do the whole, like, true name thing, which is bullshit. Um, but, like, you have to know their name and uh, their face in order to channel them. So it's oh. interesting that she says, usually you only need to know their face, but... Hmm. Like, Larry knows anything about this stuff. I like how it operates like the Death Note. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we love some bullshit magic rules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's something else that might that was strange about my mother's letter. The seal on it was broken, as if someone had already opened it once before. Uh huh. That sure is pretty strange. <laughs> someone had opened it already. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, Larry, what the fuck are you doing? Go find more rotten tomatoes. Uh, potatoes, sorry. He, he's just vibing, man. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> Thanks, Pearls. You really helped me out. Uh, hello? Oh, hello? Did you say something? <laughs> I, did said it, they, did, I said thanks. I said thanks. A, like, completely cut out for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I said, thanks, Pearls, you really helped me out. Yeah, it, it just, I it didn't hear it. Weird. <laughs> You're very welcome. My mother is watching over us from Please heaven. Please don't say that. Uh, I think she's looking up at us. Not murdered. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, by the state, I guess. I don't know if it's murder, <laughs> though. Considering... <laughs> so I'm sure Mystic Maya will be all right. <laughs> Look at that innocent God, smile on her me. face. What am I supposed to say to her? Oh, it's him. Oh, hey! Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. Finally figured it out. Have you tried? Hi. <laughs> you finally realized how terrible of a crime being painfully ob oblivious is. Godot! The entrance to the sacred cavern looks like a 
freaking puzzle workshop. Godot, you let Godot say fuck. You <laughs> <laughs> say that in front of a child. Oh, idiot. fair point. I mean, I say it in front of her all the time, so. And look I where this has led us. You are a terrible influence. I'm the I've best parental figure she now. has in her life. Which is not saying much, but it's saying that something. That is not saying much, Trite. <laughs> that really not saying much. I guess he's talking about Iris and the lock pick- the lock breaking effort. Not lock picking. But it's all a waste of time. Why do you say that? Because Maya Fey isn't coming back. What? You don't know what you're talking about. How can you say something like that? It was your job to protect her, Trite. Just like it was your job to protect Bia Fey. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Becca. Why yeah, am I always clip. getting it taken apart by toddlers? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Two sisters caught up in the worst circumstances. Uh, I realize that, but... And you were the only one who was by their sides. Bro, you do not know what you're talking about. I was in a freaking coma, man. I don't yeah, know exactly. You on. don't know, know what you're talking about. I'm... You're going out yeah, on a huge limb here, was... bruh. I need to project on something. <laughs> you were the only one who could have saved them. But I didn't know anything about what was going on. <laughs> what did I just say, Trite? Being oblivious is a heinous crime in in itself. That's a lot of, uh... Got like a lot I of baggage said, going on here, I... buddy. <laughs> My baggage is designer. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> we'll settle everything in court tomorrow. Once and for all. Okay. For all means. Mr. Nickvich. Is is what that man just said true? It'll be alright, Pearls. I'm sure Maya's alive. You'll see for yourself tomorrow. I yeah, that's right. I know I can trust you, Mr. Nick Bitch. No. You can. You can. I'm here for you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> My dear Pearl. You've done so well, my child. My Pearl. It's better that you don't know what you've done. I knew this day would come for you. The blood of the main family is no more. Uh -uh -uh. <gasps> now, finally, after all this time, the master seat is yours. My last great wish. Seems I was just in time. Woo! Incredible! <laughs> wow, that's great. That was, that was yeah. Thanks. I I can't do Morgan much, but I love what I can. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we so fucking fun. go. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh, next time, we'll just go fucking hard. Oh, Becca yeah. won't be there. I'm so sorry, oh. Becca. Well, you could- listen. We could not do it. <laughs> yeah, you we know? could take a break. I, I- I would really <laughs> like to be there. Yeah. Okay. Is there That's any fair. way we could do- like, I feel like- like, Ren will really want to do some kind of, like, reading. She's missed it for, like- or she, I just remember her mentioning that she yeah. was like, oh, no, it's been three weeks. Yeah. Well, I know she said she was going to um, watch the VOD. So, hi, Ren from the hi, future. Hello. 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 We, love we are you. all love Ren. Um, would it be possible to do it on a different day? Possibly. I yeah, could probably I do it on Saturday. 
I could Wait, you mean like tomorrow? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Like I, next Saturday. Wait, I, next Saturday there's a there's another thing that Yeah. Planned. Um oh, okay. Yeah, I have to run Wednesday? a tabletop. <laughs> Would Wednesday, Wednesday be okay? No, oh yeah, Wednesday right. Survivor oh, for yeah, Mac. Also, I can't, yeah, and I can't do Survivor. I can't do Wednesday either. I just realized I have something else too. I'm like, damn yeah. it. Uh, uh, Thursday. Thursday. No, nope, I have an I have an exam. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Six to maybe... eight. Oh dear. <laughs> like is Sunday. the next part, like in the in the trial like like is how many chapters are there left? It's... There are two. There are two. Yeah. Um, okay. There are two parts to the final uh, court day, so it's a pretty long. We have a lot of witnesses that we end up going through. Cause like, um, could we just do one of them? Like right now? No, no, no. I mean, like, like the so like next week. Oh, but then, like, okay. Then Becca will be able to be there for the finale. I see what you're saying. Um, let me look up the guide for it so I can see how long I it is. I will say, I, I should be able to, but, uh, not next week, but the week after, I will be in Hawaii. Hello, Hammer Dude! You came right at the end while we're having a riveting discussion about our schedule okay. for the holidays. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My Do suggestion to you is to watch the VOD once we end in a, in a few minutes here, but great to have you. How's it Hello. going? <laughs> yeah. You came in like right at the end. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. You. Exactly. Yeah. A very tragic circumstances. A riddle, I guess. Sure, go ahead. Um, Rand, what were you saying? Um, okay, yeah, that sounds good, Hammer Dude. But uh, yeah, not this coming week, but the week after. I shouldn't be traveling on that day, but I will be in Hawaii with my parents. Oh, so okay. I will be in a hotel room. Gotcha, gotcha. And don't worry, you're also not breaking congrats. up the chat. We're <laughs> We can we can talk about this off uh off yeah. stream too. So yeah, we can still Ooh. we can set some things up and notify people. <laughs> yeah, that's why I also added the schedule channel uh to the Discord recently because I want to get in the habit too of posting like a weekly schedule. Be like, here's what you can expect this week. Um, yeah, so everyone knows. <laughs> All right, I'm w I'm sitting here with bated breath. <laughs> Ugh. This is a wild one. Oh. All right. I was waiting for it. Yep. I was like, I was uh, like, let's see what it's I had be. A, I had a shred of hope. I had a shred of hope. I was like, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance. Mac, I yeah. could feel you hovering yeah. over yeah. the uh, the ban yeah. button. I was honestly. cool. <laughs> but I was yeah. about to say, my finger's on the trigger, by the way. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, you, we just got the scent of them now. Just every... Uh, yeah, it's very, like... It's pretty... It's pretty obvious after a couple, right? Like... Like, hi, how are you? I have a, I, I have a riddle that I'm trying to see if streamers can guess. And as soon as I read that, I was kind of like... Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> well, anyway, what a way not to end the night. Day. Yeah, not gonna ruin my day. Ban and move on. Anyway, but yeah, we'll figure out the schedule um, in the coming week and go from there. But thank you, everybody, uh, once thank again, you. for another great episode of Legally Bald. Great Indeed as always. It was very it lovely. Always. It'll be even more lovely when we're all back together again. Yeah. Indeed. And once we get to Apollo Justice, which I guess is going to be 2022. <laughs> <laughs> the road to justice is long and fraught. It is. It truly, truly is. But when we get there, it'll be such, such a, a feeling of... Uh, Ecstasy. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. Anyway, 
Um, I will be back next Friday uh, with more Harvest Moon. Um, and, um, oh, big announcement. I'm thinking about a schedule change because I never fucking stream on Sunday. I always tell myself I'm going to stream on Sunday and then I'm like <laughs> having too much fun being off work and I'm like, <laughs> I'm not going to stream. Um, <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do, I'm very sorry, Mac, but I think I am going to start streaming on Thursday and do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. But that, this is great because now we can raid each other. Exactly. That was what I, I was thinking. I was like, if I go late, Mac can raid me. And if I and if I end early, I can raid Mac. And it'll be yeah. perfect. It'll be great. Yes. So um what I am going to start on Thursday is I'm gonna pick up Fire Emblem Three Houses again. <gasps> yes. Um because uh I only finished one of the routes and um I've just been thinking about it a lot lately and it's a really fun game and I would love to connect with more Fire Emblem fans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah. we're gonna play Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um and I'm really, really excited for it. I just downloaded it on my Switch today. Barely was able to I don't have any external memory for my Switch and I've rectified that today i bought like SD a 256 gig gigabyte uh memory card <laughs> legit i had to do the same thing i was like yeah. oh so this is not <laughs> yeah it, the, the the native switch storage is absolutely nothing like it's i just appalling i just barely was able to fit fire emblem on there installed at the same time as only animal crossing i had That's to fucked. i uninstalled everything else um, except for Pokemon Home. I had to keep Pokemon Home because I have some special Pokemon like sitting in my bank there. <laughs> um, but I was just barely able to squeeze it in. And honestly, I'm afraid that um, <laughs> I won't have enough memory for like a save game <laughs> of Fire Emblem. <laughs> like I only have enough memory for Fire Emblem the game, but not the save data. <laughs> When does the uh, like SD card get here? You can just it said that, that bad boy. It said like four to seven days. So if it's four business days, then it'll get here like just in time. <laughs> <laughs> if not, Thursday might not be a Fire Emblem stream because I'm not deleting my save data for Animal Crossing. <laughs> That's yes, this was me when I was like, mm, so I guess we today <laughs> yeah <laughs> and in that case uh i'll let everybody know but um well actually we'll probably find out on stream because i'm not gonna i deleted uh, here's the other thing i'm starting fire emblem fresh because i had old save data i went ahead and deleted it so i'm doing it without new game plus oh, whoa. um so it's gonna be a little more difficult uh um, yeah, yeah. Cause I was like, I don't, I don't want to, it's been a while since I've uh, been back to the series. I, it, well, it, it's been a while since I've played the game and I was like, I want to go through re-remembering how, like the different strategies and without that kind of like advantage that New Game Plus gives you. Because New Game yeah. Plus in Fire Emblem Three Houses is so OP. Like the other, I, and I, I totally get why they put it in there because it's a game where from the very beginning you choose which um, kind of route the story is going to take. Um, oh, and so you, can't... you just want to speed through the con Yeah, basically. So it's like once you do New Game Plus, it's like then you don't have to spend as much time on like kind of not the <laughs> it's kind of mean to call it the bullshit, but. <laughs> <laughs> the bull like which the bullshit is the gameplay which is you know yeah. like training up your different uh folks and determining what specialties in combat they're going to get into yeah. and stuff but like the that the problem is there is technically four routes in fire emblem yeah and they all start with this core half of the game with no changes except what characters you initially start out with. Yeah, wow. that, is, that is one really big minus for me on that game is the first half of every single route is 
exactly the okay. same, except for that, like, the finale of that first half of the game. Um, like, that's the only thing that's slightly different, but, like, literally every single, like, map that you go to and that you do the gameplay on is exactly the same. So I definitely understand the New Game Plus stuff. Um, if I end up doing more than one route streaming of Fire Emblem, I am going to keep the New Game Plus for those other ones yeah. because... <laughs> I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna subject everyone to it again. But I figured for like returning to the series, I would do yeah. the first route. You know, go slow, and then we can speed through the other ones as needed. So, That's um, a good plan. okay. Can yeah. I ask you what your first route was? My first route was Golden Deer. Oh, I nice. fucking loved Claude. I was like, mm. oh. um, my first I... route was Crimson Flower. So <laughs> But That's powerful. I was like, I, I want my first route to be very separated from what I understand to be the core uh, conflict of this game. Yeah. But, the, but the thing about Golden Deer is I think you get a lot of the lore in that one. Oh, yeah, exactly. It, it's given me a lot of context for what I'm going to uh, go through in the other two routes. But... Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Becca, I don't think you've seen any of Fire Emblem Three Houses, right? I have not. I know nothing about Fire Emblem. Ooh, okay. You Except should tune actually, in. Actually, that's, that's a lie. Can. I did watch the um, Unraveled video that BBJ did of it. So. <laughs> well, well, you already know character archetypes, and that's that's already yeah. half the battle. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just got to go back through <laughs> <laughs> You can you can uh, identify the the Commedia dell'arte style <laughs> yes. of the game right off the bat. You can. I feel like I have to think about if there's a Camus archetype. There is a Camus archetype in Three Houses. Just I can't not remember. Off the top of my head, I'm I'm Fire Emblem trash. Well, we all knew that, Rand. Every time I look at your uh, timeline. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I see I the most obscure, first of all, the most obscure of <laughs> Fire Emblem characters this from is, Fire Emblems like I've dumpster. never even heard of. It this feels like I love it so much. It, it, like, it's so great. People in it. <laughs> it's so great, but every single time I'm like, I feel like I learn about a new Fire Emblem game. <laughs> I like, I know less about Fire Emblem because what I know is like absolutely. Some of them are characters in Smash. Um, but I <laughs> like just get so much joy from Sran because I'm just it, oh, like, are you having fun, son? Because I'm just so like, oh, there's yeah, my friend and I don't get it, but I love that they love them. Exactly. Yeah, Mac Dad, I l I'm having fun. Yeah. You are having, you are vibing in your corner and we all love to see it. <laughs> anyway, it'll be super fun. Um, so I can't wait for that. Anyway, but the next time I'll actually be back is on Wednesday um, for more of Daddy Ranch. It's year two. Year oh, two. Yes. We, we made it. I'm so excited. We've already seen our son. We named him. What's I his name? Sunny. S O N N Y. Oh, uh, and I forgot. <laughs> you might have seen the clip that Ren made, but I forgot that you can dictate what your wife calls you as a nickname. Oh my god. Oh. What did you say? I need to watch that clip. <laughs> Me too. Daddy, till <laughs> squiggly oh. line heart. Banned. <sighs> Banned from Twitch. I know. God. I, I, you need to watch the clip. I can't, I, like, I was possessed. There is no way that I couldn't put that. You'll you see. Sure? The clip proves my innocence. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna have to get a testimony from Ren later. Mm-hmm. Big my damn head. Um, should we, like, is Thrifty still going? Do we raid no. Thrifty? Aw, damn. She's not still going. Let but, me... uh, Empress is. Oh, oh, that is the tradition, ain't uh, it? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> to always raid Empress, and she's, uh, sorry, they're like, um, 
You raid me every single Friday. <laughs> it's a tradition. Exactly. Um, okay. Let me set up the raid. Oh, wait, not Empress, sorry. I was thinking fucking Queen. Queen is the oh, one that we're always raiding on Friday. <laughs> All oh, right, no, yeah. I wasn't Empress. Sorry, Queen. <laughs> Rip, Queen, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Empress and Queen Empress. kind of got, like... Empress. The 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 wires got crossed in my brain. All right. Um yeah, let's let's uh get this raid to Empress uh going. Um but thank you everybody. Good night everybody. <laughs> I hope you have a great night um and a great weekend. Um and I'll talk to you later. Bye. 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 Bye.